Being so, how you doing today? Let's see. I turned the heat on because it was so cold up in here. Now I'm getting hot. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Nice to arrive. Thank you, thank you. Never the creator. <laughs> hey, Rainbow. I am perfect. I am perfect. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Let's see. Let me see something. Um, oh, Lord, I had a brain. A brain freeze right quick. Okay, there we go. How y'all doing today? How your day starting off? Because I'm here. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you tend to have that effect on people. I'm live today on both of my pages on God is just be over here and God is just be healthy. God is just be healthy is my backup page where I talk a lot about health and wellness over there on God is just be. Damn, you're beautiful. Hey, a tick talks. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I talk about health and wellness over on God is just be healthy a lot and I try to keep God is just be page over here about mindfulness because the two are very very important they tie they go hand in hand you know because the gut and the brain are intertwined this is why we have gut feelings you know and so even like me when I first started in my journey I was just trying to eat healthy just be a healthier person not not necessarily to become conscious at all because I was trying to run away from religion and just do dare to do everything different but what I noticed was during my journey I, I obtained so much of mental clarity and it was like a light switch that went off because of our gut and our brain being intertwined and when we're not able to absorb and eliminate through our gut, then we're really not able to absorb and eliminate, you know, through our mind, really, absorbing more information, getting mental clarity and consciousness, and eliminating based upon old stories, old trauma. You see what I'm saying here? So they go hand in hand, as within, so without, on earth as it is in heaven, you know? And the kingdom of God is within us all. So the question of the day, the subject of today is, are you ready? You know, oftentimes in my journey, I've come across, and I used to be like this here too, people who were not ready. I once upon a time was not ready to face myself, to heal myself. And I just saw somebody on, on and I'm not, you know, being ugly because I, I actually follow this person. I just saw somebody that was on TikTok that was talking about, they had a, a shake, a, um, a vegan shake or whatever, and he was saying, in other words, take if I if you drank this shake, I would suggest you stay close to the house because you know basically you're gonna go to the bathroom. And he said, never again, never again will he try it. He says, and I was thinking to myself, oh man, what do you mean? But I commented and I said, better out than in. But sometimes we, and I was there before, we'll say, never again. Never again will I eat this healthy thing because it made me go to the bathroom. Never again will I try that detox because it made my stomach cramp a little bit and then it released some things. But if you think about this type of stuff, logically, you're limiting yourself. What do you mean never again? So that means that you're saying, I'm going to hold on to my toxins. That mean you saying, <laughs> that mean you saying, 
I want to keep all my toxicity inside of me. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Because I used to be like that. I used to love me some pole shops, y'all. I would barbecue pole shops. I would fry them, smother them. I did whatever. I had pole shop sandwiches. I baked pork chop. I did everything with pork chop. And one of my girlfriends, when I was still asleep, she asked me, she said, why you why you eat pork? You, you ain't never hear about, you know, the little maggots and stuff that's, you know, that'll come out the pork. The pork is just really nasty, she was telling me. And I was like, girl, I don't care. I really don't care. I, I put some vinegar on it. I put some Coca-Cola, because you know they say Coca-Cola could strip the, you know, kill the maggots or whatever. I said, I'll put a Coca-Cola on mine and kill the Maggie's first, but I'm eating my pork, right? And her and her husband looked at each other at the same time. And I'll never forget this look that they made. It was like, you know how you would have parted and y'all could see eye to eye. And they looked at each other after I said that. And they had this unspoken communication. And I wondered what that look was about. Because I was still asleep. I was just, I just didn't understand. I was, I had ears, but I wasn't hearing just yet. I wonder what they meant, but now I know. In hindsight, it's always 2020. Now I know what they meant. You know, now I know because I sell detoxes on my website. And when I and when I go in person, when I'm speaking and, and selling my products in the back, you know, there's always that one. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of scared of the detox. I'm kind of scared. I think I'm going to leave that alone. I don't know how it's going to register in my body. And I, and I smile and I think about myself because I once was in that place like, yeah, you don't know how the detox, the herbs that's for the healing of the nation is going to affect your body. But we eating the swine, you know. We eating the animals that have pretty much gas on them. <laughs> All kind of toxicity. Y'all saw the gas meat that I posted? Well, they're making the meat last up to two weeks, but yet the people are getting sick by it. And so when you think about these things, it, you know, everything is perfect and perfectly orchestrated by source energy, right? God was telling me to stop this and that. <laughs> Holy buns. <laughs> Honey buns, okay, and soda and pork. Yeah, definitely. And I believe that to be part of this season, this age, this age of awakening where you, some people might think, oh, the government, they wrong for this. They're doing all of these things to the meats, right? But but really and truly, the energy that runs, once you become conscious, you realize there ain't no governments. There ain't no it's. <laughs> it's just pure consciousness. And, the, and the, the energy that runs this whole so-called matrix is the energy of love that wants you to evolve. And so sometimes in, in an effort to get you to evolve when you are a stiff-necked person, then your reflections got to manipulate you because you signed up to play this game of life. So your reflections got to sometimes doubt you, sometimes try to betray you in order to push you to evolve in a certain area of your life, right? So some people say, oh, the government, they've been, they're trying to kill us. But if you look at the beauty, because it got to be two sides, there's the law of polarity that would govern underneath in this physical reality that says if they got it, if they're going to have male, they're going to have female. So if they're going to have this so-called bad, they got to have some good in it, right? Because everything is two-sided. So if you're thinking, if you're the type of person that think that the government is trying to kill you, well, look at the beautiful side of that. Look at the people that are walking away or choosing no longer to consume the dead animals. If we need to start calling it what it is. They're choosing not to consume the dead animals and they're choosing to eat live food now. And in that choice, guess what's happening to them? They electrifying their body. They're getting rid of mucus and parasites. They're losing weight. They're expanding their consciousness. So if you think about that part of the good aspect of it, that thing is the very thing that's causing you to expand. The thing that people might think was meant for the bad ends up working out for the good because the energy that runs the, this totality of this matrix or this illusion of separation is the energy of love that wants you to expand to get back to your kingdom. To get back to remembering your power. <laughs> to accept and embrace that the kingdom of God is within you. But you got to transform your energy. Because every one of us in the physical reality is, 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 is just like the prodigal son. Returning back to source. Yeah, evolving. Just like the Christ conscious one. 
crucified at one point, evolving and being resurrected again, only when the renewal of the mind take place, though. It ain't going to happen before then. So are you ready? Are you ready to renew your mind? Are you ready to become more conscious? Are you ready to maybe change your diet? Because you're going to have to sacrifice something. <laughs> hey, hey, Edible, you on it. Thank you. It's the FDA allowing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could you could say the FDA, CDC, and all these things outside of you, but you wanted this here. You signed up for this here. You might not remember it right now at this point in time, but you signed up to play the game of life because you knew you was going to win. You knew that you never could get this thing called life wrong. You knew that you would, would expand. <laughs> yeah, you were saying straight facts. Yeah. And, and cut off fake friends. Well, you it's really its really not even in a place where you need to have to cut them off. They just fall by the wayside because your energy alone, you, you're not going to be compatible with those so-called fake ones. And more in the biblical text, they tell you this when they're talking about when, um, when in the parable it says in so many words, here is your mother. Isn't this your mother? They were telling to Jesus. And, and Jesus said, Take here, this is your mother, this is your brother, he who does the will of the father. Basically, what it's saying is the person that's on your frequency, that's going to be your family. Because the other ones are going to just be washed by the wayside. You ain't, you ain't going to be able to see them because you are attracting people, your tribe, based upon a frequency that you are emitted, emitting. Because life is happening through you, not to you. And so you go to the grocery store and they might have somebody in that grocery store. <laughs> That you will never see. Every time you go on one aisle, they're going on the opposite aisle. You're never going to see them or experience them because energetically you are on different levels. you only experiencing your family anyway. <laughs> your so-called collective, the people that you see in your kingdom, you only experiencing them because there is something that they're to deliver or show you, even just even if they're just walking by and they don't never even say nothing to you. Even if there's just a person that's on at the red light next to you that you just happen to glimpse over. Energetically, there's something about them that is likened to your energy, or you wouldn't have met them. They are people in your neighborhood right now, today. Even if you've lived in your neighborhood for over 20 years that you have never seen. And when you move maybe out of your neighborhood, you could move to a whole nother state. And it could be 20 years later, you'll meet this person and y'all talking and going down memory lane of where y'all lived. And y'all in one of say, well, I used to live in New Orleans, Louisiana. And the other one would be like, well, I did too. Well, what was the name of your street? And it'd be the same street that you lived on. Oh my God, I lived on that street too, but I never saw you. Why is that though? Because energetically you wasn't ready to meet that person. You had to move out of the New Orleans, Louisiana place. You had to renew your mind. You had to be re-resurrected. You had to be with like energy minded person to equivalent to that person in order to just meet them. <laughs> That's how this thing called life goes. That's how the game goes. It's an energetic thing. We, 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 try to, we try to make it what it's not. It's all energy. And when we're talking about food, food is energy. We got, we got dead energy food and we got live energy food. When we're talking about thoughts, thoughts are energy. We got those traumatic thoughts that we keep replaying over and over. That brokenness, that sickness, that daddy hurt me, that mama hurt me kind of thoughts. Those are the dead ones. They're only creating or recreating what you've already experienced. Even when you're on a job, you don't like that job, you go to another job. How is it that both of them jobs and it's different managers <laughs> act the same way toward you? Or you end up with the same messy co-workers all over again because your thoughts were equivalent and they created a reprogram with just different characters. But then we got people that think liver thoughts, higher frequency thoughts. They renew their mind. They quantum jump into the thoughts of the reality in the, by using their human imagination to think new thoughts, to create their, their tomorrow, right? And they hold steady on feeling good in those thoughts. And they have the ability to focus in a controlled imagination. 
And then what happened to them people? They don't rinse and repeat. Those be like the Lil Wayne's of the world that say, I just knew it. I'm the greatest rapper alive because he spoke life into himself. Those be like the little Beyonce's of the world that's dancing and, and it just knew and just felt like they'd be major in this particular reality. Those be like the homeless people. You ever see them homeless people that, that, that get um, their little makeover and get their little, their little haircut and they thrive and they buy their first house and stuff? Yeah, because when they were homeless, they thought nothing of being homeless. They felt that wealthy. You got to feel it first. They didn't walk around feeling pitiful and pathetic. They had higher frequency thoughts. So are you ready, though? Are you ready to renew your mind? Are you ready to renew your health? Are you ready to become conscious? Are you ready to be healed? Are you ready to be happy? Are you really ready to play the game of life? Because the game of life was supposed to be fun, but you didn't made it into this crappy story. And you play the story, the same story, every day in your mind. Oh, I know he's not going to like me. Oh, I'm going to go out with y'all, but I, I bet you ain't nobody going to come over there and talk to me. Oh, I'm gonna play the lottery, but I don't know. I I ain't too lucky. I probably end up just losing my money. Oh, I'm gonna post for the job, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. See, that be this year be the stumbling block. This year be the death of all your desires when you're not ready. But boy, when you're ready to renew your mind, you think optimistically. But here's the thing: when you first beginning, begin it, begin it. You think to yourself, this might not work, but I'm going to try it. And so some of the things in the beginning ain't going to work because you still have that little doubt in any of you. And on top of that, the reason why some of the things in the beginning won't work is because you have about however years old you are, 20, 30, 40 years of doubt in you. So, so your physical reality is a display of your old thoughts. And so you got to keep on being optimistic. Keep on using your human imagination. Keep on thriving. Keep on carrying the cross. Keep on moving forward because your resurrection is coming. Your kingdom is coming. As long as you have the ability to focus and a controlled imagination, you can be to have anything you want in this physical reality, but you got to conjure up energy toward it. You got to know. You got to know. You can't just believe. Gone are the days where you can believe now. This ain't about believing. This is about knowing. I know all things are working out for me. I know I'm going to get the job. I know I'm going to, I am healthy. I know, I feel it right now. I know, I know the house has already been created. I know, I just got to walk into it. These are the things that I know. Not that I believe. Mm -mm. Church folk believe and bless their heart. Some of them been believing and believing and believing. A lot of them been believing that somebody's going to crack the sky for umpteen years. Not only did they believe it, but their grandma believed it and their great grandma believed it. But ain't nobody cracked the sky based upon no belief. <laughs> so you got to know. You learn from the church days. You learn from the religion days. <laughs> and you got to know that you know that you know that things are always working out for me. All I do is win and learn. Everything is perfect. This is what I know. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfectly orchestrated for my becoming. That is what I know. I know my purpose. I know this right here. This is my passion. This is what I know. <laughs> and you, nobody can't take away from you the things that you know, the things that you have embedded in your conscious and subconscious mind because now it has become law for you. Now you have sent out a signal <laughs> to your subconscious mind and it has to yield to you the things that you know. So who had a root today? It all starts, it's the all starts, it's all starts, I promise you, for me, it all started with my dog. Who had a fruit today? Anybody? Anybody eat fruit? Fruit a lot. If you think about it, fruit is the hydrated form of the herb. Boy, that fruit, that fruit take care of that lymphatic system, which is the backup of the blood. You go to the doctor, they, they, they do blood work on you, but baby, <laughs> it's the lymphatic system that's keeping that blood clean. So if the lymphatic system, you clogged up, then you have disease. And a lot of us be having that dis-ease and disharmony 
Because not only is, 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 is toxins and parasites um, running around in that lymphatic system, but the adrenaline fatigue is weight on the lymphatic system. How are you getting adrenaline fatigue? From stressing out and worrying, the negative thoughts. Yeah, it all it all is ganging up on you. Uh oh, God, it's eleven. You had some proof today. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Yeah, yeah, the tongue, the two way sword. Yeah, it gives life, and it can take it away. You don't raise your hand up if somebody say, "Who wants their life to be taken away from them?" Raise your hand. A room of, of people, nobody really volunteered for that. But yet with our thoughts, we volunteer for that. Our habits, we volunteering for that. <laughs> yeah, our negative thinking, we volunteering for that. Our, our habitual talk, you know, the words that we be saying, we don't take nobody here, that's so negative. So condescending, so we pick on ourselves so much. We volunteering for that. Yeah. Thought by thought, word by word, we volunteering for it. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. You got to be tired too. The old man got to be ready to die. <laughs> But here's the cool part. Here's the gangster part. And I'm reminded of the biblical text, y'all, because I come up in church. That's all. That's what I know. My mama had me in church every day. Here's the gangster part in the parable. It says, hold up now. I like to say it like this, y'all. Yeah. Hold up now. Nobody didn't take my life from me. I laid it down. <laughs> and if I lay it down, I could pick it back up again. You got to know that even at your lowest self in life, that you decided to go there, to go negative, to lay down. You decided to have those, those chaotic thoughts, but you knew you were energy, frequency, and vibration. So though you laid your life, your life down for negativity, for stress, for worry, for a toxic environment, bad eating habits, though you laid it down, you are still the Christ. <laughs> and you can pick it back up again. And you won't even have to rush to pick it back up again because you live on, baby, eons and eons. You could take your time on this thing called life because like I said earlier, <laughs> it's a game of life. And you came to have fun. Expansion is, 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 is inevitable for all of us, even if you choose not to expand in this lifetime. You still live on because your soul never dies. Energy is never neither created nor destroyed. It's simply transformed. That's it. So you we just transforming energy thought by thought by thought. And that's all that your subconscious mind understands. It understands two ways of spiraling down. For death or expanding for life. Choose you this day. What's the God you going to serve? <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. Excuse me. I'm going to get them seeds. But I tell you one thing. In life is so much fun. When you're expanding. Because now you have the energy. Now you have your mental clarity. Now you understand your purpose and your passion. Now your heart chakra is open. Now being that your heart chakra is open, it's like an electromagnetic field of energy that's drawing things to you. And so if your heart chakra is open and you, you've, um, you've expanded with your aura, you're more energetic and powerful. You're more lifted up. You're more conscious, right? <laughs> and if I be lifted up, guess what? I'll draw all things to me. That's, that's how it goes. Your laundry is ready. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. So you heard that, huh? Yeah, I was washing some things. I was washing and drying some things because I got back. Um, you know, I'm just doing it because I just got back in the country. And I had to put my stuff that I, uh, 
that I had in my suitcase up in the uh, washer and dryer. The tongue. The tongue is powerful, yes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, y'all know each other? Stay blessed. You stay blessed, too. And let me see if I miss some of these comments over here. Transcending, yeah. Talk to me, Lord. Always. Always. Is it your chi? Always. God, our source energy, speaks through us. <laughs> through billboards. Through our reflections. Through the habitual thinking. All of this. <laughs> oh, you can't miss God. You can't miss God. Through your TikTok feed. You know how you just be going down. Those are your thoughts. <laughs> you just going down memory lane of what's in your mind. Because you, people think they get, we give so much energy to like a, a logarithm, algorithms, or you know, the government or CDC. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's consciousness, it's what you draw into you and what you are repelling away from you. Thought by thought by thought, it's you, it's the power of you. You doing this, you running this thing called life. Your expression of life is being ran through your subconscious mind and it's showing you. You. That's why you can't run away from you. Because you're going to always, no matter if you move to another state or move to another job or divorce and marry somebody else, you're going to run into you again. So you got to be ready one day to face you in all aspects of the way. Face yourself. Deal with yourself. Deal with yourself thought by thought by thought. <laughs> so so, so we, we talked about who, who ate the fruit today? God is 11 did. Who worked out already today? Even if it was just taking a walk to the corner, around the corner, to just be in nature, to be grounded. That helps your lymphatic system too. Who 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 had a herbal tea today? Yeah, to electrify your body. Who did any of these things? Who who meditated and, and practiced mindfulness? Because that that deep breath, oh my God, is underrated. It's on the rain. It's a stress reliever. It centers you. <laughs> it helps your lymphatic system. Does, do anybody do these things? Who all pulled today? Anybody all pulled today? <laughs> all pulling. And I'm not saying that for no white tea. I'm talking consciously here. I'm talking about opening up your pineal gland here. Anybody? Anybody oil pull? I talk about oil pulling, especially on my on my wellness page all the time. And I tell you the gangster way to oil pull. I ain't saying this to get y'all money. <laughs> I don't sell these products to get y'all money. If you noticed last week, I took a whole vacation on y'all and went out the country. And then y'all money didn't fund that. <laughs> I know how to draw things to me. Yeah, I'm telling you these things so that you could realize that you got. Everything that I sell on my website, everything that I do is for the greater good of the all, for your expansion. So that's why coconut oil, <laughs> I tell you, when I tell you to oil pull, I don't tell you to go try the, what is it called? And I'm not, and I really, I really don't y'all start talking about nobody because I don't like talking about other people now. I don't like talking about my reflections because they're on the journey. But I got to tell you this one thing. They ain't got too many people up in here. They, okay, good. They don't have too many people up here. I don't want nothing like this here to go viral. But they got this little old portal thing by, uh, I think it's called uh, Guru Ganda, if I'm saying it right. And they got peppermint oil up in here. Peppermint oil is so toxic to your brain. I would never recommend you all. They asked me, they asked me to, 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 um, to try it. And I was like, oh, no, thank you, babe, because I sell my own. It's okay. But see, I pay attention to certain things. And I never tell you nothing about no GMO crap. That's going to mess with your brain. I will never mention that. I done already did this research. I done already, I done already been on at the um, bar, farmer's market and uh, herbalists and the top herbalists and gurus in New Orleans, Louisiana. I sat with them before he died and he taught me so much because he was important for my becoming stage. I'm teaching you what I learned from him. And so when I teach you about coconut oil and I tell you to incorporate my amethyst oil, I'm telling you this for many, many reasons. And then look, let me tell you, this is not no sales pitch, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell you all of the reasons right here since we're on that. 
I like to let you decide. I like to let you be led, though, based upon how you feel. I don't do ads and stuff like that. But let me break this down to you. Just, 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 just simply oil pulling. How it could change your life. I ain't talking, it's going to change your breath. Yeah, I ain't by you. I don't need to smell your breath. I don't really care about your breath like that, though. You know, you, you know, it's going to whiten your teeth. Yeah, yeah, that's cool and all. But I don't, I don't, I don't really see but y'all little, your little profile picture. And I don't really be all in your teeth, you know, because I got teeth. You got teeth. Everybody got teeth. I don't really care about that. But what I care about with you is that when you mix coconut oil, you mix coconut oil with my alchemist oil that's available on my website that includes clove oil and oregano oil. Now, you got three things here. You got coconut, you got clove, and you got oregano. Why am I telling you to make your gangster to do that? Because ultimately, I know that not only when you squish that around for five minutes in your mouth, will it get rid of mucus in your head? Yeah, it's going to start draining things in your head. You know, this is this is why you probably don't have a attention span. Yeah, it's going to clean out your tonsils and stuff, but that's you. You got a swole tonsil. I really, really, I care about your health. But what I care most of all, of all is that you get that mucus outside of your head and you get you some mental clarity, God. <laughs> and so as simultaneously as it cleaning out your head, where your thoughts are, where your mental clarity is, and your cognitive, cognitive thinking is, at the same time, it's cleaning out your gut because the gut, like I told you a couple of minutes ago, the gut and the brain are intertwined. So now it's getting rid of the critters in here. So if you have critters in here, then you have critters in here that's gnawing at your head. And ultimately, I understand that when you get rid of this, it's like a light switch that's going to go off. And you're going to be able to hear. You're going to be able to see. You're going to become conscious is what I'm saying here. It's going to open up your third eye is what I'm saying here. I'm not formally, I want you to be healthy. I really do. But I want you to be God more than anything. Because when you're God, <laughs> when you're God again, when you're back on the throne of God again, you can draw all things to you. Then you realize you can be, do, or have anything. Then you realize this, this lady wasn't playing. I, I really feel like an entirely new person. Then you understand more with this biblical text and me constantly telling you about parables is all about. You understand what the Christ conscious one was speaking of in those parables by saying it is not robbery to be equal with God. You'll understand and you'll quit asking why me. You'll know that, well, I'm all that exists. <laughs> You'll know that you ask to come forth to experience yourself. You'll have fun in life again. <laughs> That's the reason why. So, so when, when I ask you, who, 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 who had fruit, some seeded fruit today? You know what I'm saying to you? Who's deciding I want to become the Christ conscious one? Who's decided that I ain't going to blame the government because clearly the FDC and the CDC and the people, whoever they are, the president or whoever he or she is that you think is, is the cause of your toxic diet. They were clearly not at Walmart when you made your groceries. They wasn't at the Asian market when you put certain things in your basket. They wasn't at Trader Joe's. I go to those places all the time and I be by myself. Enjoying myself, picking up the things that I want for myself and nobody put no gun to my head and told me that, no, you got to go over there and get the toxic food. No, because I don't even go that way. I know the food for me right there in the front of the store. I don't even need to go on the other aisles. I made groceries yesterday. You know what I bought from the grocery store? These oranges that I, I was just eating. A refrigerator full of, full of seeded grapes. That I was just eating last night in, 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 in coconut waters. I went to the store yesterday. I bought two cases. Wait, let me show you. Because y'all, I'm telling you, coconut water, real coconut water, not that, that V-I-T-A stuff, fighter in that bottle that tastes like garbage. Don't, don't drink that one. Don't drink that one because that, that's been processed. I don't know what that is. That's nasty. But let me tell you, I bought this last yesterday. I'm going to show you the box. I'm going to show you the boxes. I bought two boxes. Two cases. I'm coming. I bought two cases. 
from this case, right? I bought this yesterday. This is the case here that I want you to see that I'm not playing with y'all about. The one you don't see is in the, in the trash can in the garage. Look at this here. This is my water. <laughs> These are all empty and gone just yesterday. So that means I done drunk three, six, nine, ten. Ten coconut waters. <laughs> To be electrified because the cells of my body needs this because I'm so in love with this lifestyle. Y'all think I'm playing. Wait, let me show you the grapes. I bought grapes yesterday too. I brought grapes. I brought grapes just yesterday. I bought two packs to get grapes. This is all I got left. This all. This is my food, y'all. I and I bought any of my oranges that I bought. This was full, and I got what? I got five left. That's going this is gonna be gone with, when I get up this live. This is my food. This is what I eat. Why do I eat so many grapes, oranges, coke, drink coconut water? Why do I do this? Y'all think something wrong with me? Think I got sickness and disease? No, I did a video today. I posted a video today when when I was big and I was sitting down in the chair. Bigger, because I wasn't big, big, but I'm only 5'2". I was about 162 pounds on that first picture that I posted. But that's when I was having all the sicknesses and diseases. Because I didn't have no kind of electrifying foods then. Yeah, that's when I couldn't breathe. Nobody asked me nothing because they thought that, you know, the meat looks good on my bones, you know. And the black men, you know, they love looking at my booty. Yeah, because I had a big booty. Yeah, and you know, we, we BBLs is the end thing, like, right? But nobody asked me how I was feeling. Meanwhile, I remember like it was yesterday, and I went to the park to Ottawa Zoo in New Orleans, Louisiana with my boy. He had to be probably only about 12 years old. And he was jumping on the trees and just, just wilding out, like, and my stomach was in knots. And he said to me, he said, Mom, what's wrong with you? You're not fun like you used to be. Is it because you're getting old? And I was like, oh my God. But I was out of breath. I couldn't run around and play with my boy. I had thyroid issues at that time. I couldn't breathe. All I did was sleep. All I did was sleep. I didn't have to eat. But my weight was just like, I had me swole looking like, like that there. It went out doing that there. But I decided something was wrong. And I was going to the doctor. I had vertigo. I had irritable syndrome. I wore glasses. I never used the bathroom. Do you use the bathroom? Because you know you're supposed to use the bathroom every day. I was using the bathroom maybe every four days, three to four days back then. Yeah, I was literally full of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had bad acne. I used to always get to get a catch cold. Mucus used to always be coming out. I dealt with so much that I really didn't have to. All I had to do was be ready. But one day I got ready and I changed my mind. No, it wasn't a doctor. Matter of fact, I told the doctor, you're not going to say, keep me up in here and I'm not going to stay your lab rat. Because the doctor ain't never asked me what I was eating. The doctor ain't never asked me what I was thinking. The doctor never told me to renew my mind. I had to figure that out for myself. I had to save myself and become my own doctor. So I'm asking you today, are you ready yet? Oh, it's okay if you're not ready. It's okay. Go back. But see, when you know this kind of information, what happens is it gets a little harder for you. Because now, now you know better and you don't want to do nothing. That's disaster right there. That's disaster right there. you setting the tone for your future to be a little chaotic. When you know better and you ain't doing better. <laughs> Gotta go 
sweetie. Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool. Thank you for being here, babe. I appreciate you. Yeah, when you know better and you ain't doing better. Mm -mm. That's not a good team. Talk to me, Lord. Okay, let me see. Ooh, I'm, back. I'm missing my comments. I'm sorry about that. It got hung up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she said move the chair. I brought it forward, so I'm, I'm hopeful you saw that. Let me know if you saw it. I brought it forward. Yeah. Hope. How much does coconut cost? That case, $19.99 for each case. So I spent, what, $40? $40 on two cases out here. But I'm in Arizona. It's different everywhere. I went to the Asian market to get that. Yeah. Okay, yep. It's better than water. It is so much better than water. <laughs> This is hydrating me on a cellular level. I had one bottle of water yesterday, though, just because I remembered that I didn't drink no water. And in these waters, when I do buy my waters, I told on my health page that I put sodium, a pinch of uh, pure, not no almond hammer, pure Bob Red Mill baking soda. I put a pinch in here and a pinch of either gray Celtic salt or pink Himalayan sea salt. Lately, I've been using my, my gray Celtic salt. And so now I have water with electrolytes and minerals. It's alkaline. See, 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 <laughs> the environment in your body. The environment in your body, if it's acidic, is a breeding house for them parasites to thrive. And so a lot of people in the physical reality aren't ready because they have like other critters or parasites inside of them halting their growth, trying to become the host itself. And so you know if you have these parasites and stuff after you eat, your stomach get full, like it did not full because you ate, but full like you get bloated and you start to expand. When your butt is tingling, your booty hole, and feel like something tickling you. When you have a lot of acne, fluid feel bumps and puffs. When you have, when you have to hawk in the morning when you first got up, and you ain't hawking because you didn't oil pull with the alchemist oil in the coconut oil. You hawking because your body is just trying to get some air, some oxygen, some iron. <laughs> some minerals because the mucus is, is 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 overgrowing of yeast and bacteria and so these parasites they grow they multiply they have the worms they have the larva they have the eggs so so you have to go through a whole chain of command to rid the body of that in order to clear up your body in order for you to have mental clarity all over again that's another thing that the alchemist oil do for you when you mix it with the coconut oil you get you a teaspoon of coconut oil and you put about five um drops of the alchemist oil and you all pull and as you all pulling it's pulling up the mucus and see the coconut oil get past the lipid coating barrier of the um of this this barrier that these parasites put around themselves these viruses they have a lipid coating film around them that coconut oil destroys see see not only am i telling you stuff when i talk to you about health and wellness on the health page not only am i telling you stuff about health and wellness for your body but after you get rid of them parasites, though. <laughs> when you get rid of them parasites, though. The mental clarity. The pineal gland activation. Being that it was once calcified, calcified and you was like in a dormant state. Dormant meaning just doing whatever, just going with the motion. You know, like... um. Kind of like when we be like, well, that, sh that show tastes good. I don't know what it was, but the show tastes good. Give me some more. I might have to go take me a nap afterwards. It's like you on rinse and repeat and you just do with things that don't even make common sense. But to you in that time and place, it makes common sense. It makes common sense to destroy yourself. Because guess what? At the same time, your little parasites enjoying it. At the same time... <laughs> You, in your mind, think you enjoying it because you have so many things manipulating, taking over your mind like high fructose corn syrup that's tricking your body into thinking you're hungry when you're really, really full. When you have the MSG going on, you got the maldextrin toxifying your, your kidneys and your organs, but you feel good while all that's happening because it has this, this, this comeback kind of feeling.
<laughs> release endorphins and, and serotonin in your body. Something that you could do simply through meditating. Something that you can get every day once you clean out your body. <laughs> but you don't know how to do that when you're at your lower self, when you got parasites and, and things inside of you, knowing that you take it over you because you ain't ready. Because you decided that you was going to experience yourself at your lower self. And that's, that's an experience that you choose thought by thought by thought, day by day by your actions. You choosing. I want you to know what you choosing, cause I don't want I don't want none of y'all that support me to be like, but you never said that. Though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and because I want you to be accountable for you, and stop being the victim. And, and you know, sometimes in the comment they'll have people. They have people. One person came over talking about Jesus, talking about Jesus. I, um, Jesus is my my healer, my doctor. On a video that I did about um, what that one was when I was talking about the urine. How the urine turns color when you're detoxing it. And he was like, Jesus is my doctor. And I was like, well, that's beautiful. But I sure hope your Jesus tell you to go get you some coconut water and some seeded uh, grapes. And how about your Jesus tell you to go get you some key lime? And if your Jesus don't tell you, guess what? I just told you. <laughs> I'm working for your Jesus today. Because I don't care how you deliver the message to me. I understand what you're saying. If you love your Jesus, hold on to your Jesus. Hold on to your Jesus. Just as long as you evolving with your Jesus, baby. Because it's all purposeful. It's all is God at the end of the day. I don't care. Buddha, Krishna, Shadrach, Meshach, Bendigo, Thot, uh, whatever. Seven day Adventist, uh, whatever. Come on now. Is it working? Or are you evolving with it? Are you healthy? Is your third eye or your first eye? Same thing. Is it open? Oh, so okay. Okay. You just using that, that figure of speech. Okay. Well, well, okay. I respect your mind. I respect your mind where you at. I ain't trying to get you to come and join no religion or nothing. Just open up your mind to whatever you want to open and program to be. Just as long as it's healthy. Just as long as you are manifesting. Just as long as you know that you are creator, create team. A manifester, manifest team. And that you can do, be, or have anything in this life. When you put your mind to it. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad of me to find it. Yeah, you could probably go to an Asian market. Whole food store, don't go there. Because you'll be paying a whole lot of money at Whole Foods store. But they have it there. Sometimes I see them at Trader Joe's. But Google International Market near me. That's what you do. And you'll find it. Because them Asians, they everywhere. And that's why they go to shop. And they get stuff internationally brought in. Because they know about the uh, these healthy, exotic fruits and vegetables. That's what they eat. <laughs> so they got one near you. Yeah. Oh, you got the whole coconut. Yeah, I don't play with the um, bottles much at all. There's one here that I like that I know that's pure. But a lot of times, the coconut water that come in cans and, and, and bottles or whatever, they put so many preservatives inside of there. Till it tastes like garbage. And just me with taste, I'm gifted in the area where when I put something on my tongue, I know if it's working for me or not because I've cleaned out my body so much. And so like when I bought these here, when I bought these here normally, don't tell my body, normally when I go to the Asian market and I see the oranges or whatever, I got to make sure because one time I got tricked and I did that make sure they had a seed in there. And I only eat seeded fruits because of how they taste and because I feel that they're activating my body at a cellular level versus the GMO, the male. Anyway, so the female <laughs> version of the fruit is the one that I want that because it gives me more life force, right? And so I would normally put my little finger kind of like in kind of like see if they have a seed. But I couldn't do that with these because they was in a bag. And so I was just trusting. I was like, they look so good. I was just trusting. They got to be seated. And as soon as I put it to my tongue, I was like, yeah, this is it. This is real. But I didn't um, taste the seed. I was like, no, this got to be real. And I kept chewing it and I felt the seed. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I get off on stuff like that. That's how I am. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was real. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you're not play BB talk 
podcast. Oh, I know you're not playing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely been there too. I see that. We all. Because we're all on a journey. And everybody just have a different place in the journey. But we all go in the same place. So people taking the scenic route. So people chilling this lifetime. That's why you gotta be on a journey for you. By yourself. Because some of them people not going to the places that you're going. Some of the people that's here go listen and don't do nothing. That's, they ain't going to do nothing. And that's okay. I'm not forcing nobody to do anything. I signed up. I'm not. There you go. Look at uh, look at K. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That H302. You already know. <laughs> yeah. And you'll use the rest of the coconut later, right? Yeah. Well, the coconut meat you mean? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But those, um, some of those I'm going to save and I put it in the freezer to eat or use the meat later because the coconut meat has a lot of benefits. I want to learn. I just haven't had the time because I'm always making other stuff. I want to learn how to make my own coconut oil from the coconut meat. But I ain't been having time for that. But yeah, I'll use or eat the meat outside. After I'm finished, most of the time I'll just get a spoon and I'll just start, you know, like scraping the inside of the coconut especially since i got my new coconut opener let me show y'all i got from amazon my little coconut opener you put this here on the top you put this on the top of the coconut and then you feed it like this here and that way there's a hole at the top so now since i have a hole at the top of my coconut when i open it it's enough room to put that spoon up in there and just kind of like scrape it and eat the coconut meat. Coconut meat is really, really good and healthy for you. Equivalent to the coconut oil because that's how you got to go through the process of making it that way. <laughs> yeah. Do you eat the coconut? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The coconut meat. It's really, really good. So coconuts also, excuse me. Also, give you those amino acids. Okay. Another thing I want to share with you. If you decide to go on a transformation journey, where you're going to, even if you're taking a break from meat or just cutting back on the heavier meats for a while, you're going to find that you're going to instantly lose weight. That's what happened to me. Immediately on the pictures that I just post on my um, transformation journey. I immediately lost weight. I mean, it came off of me overnight. And collarbones were sticking out. I have big collarbones anyway, but they were sticking out a little bit more. And my head was looking like a little bobble head. <laughs> but that is because I was getting rid of all those carbs and I got rid of that so called protein, which was the meat, right? Animal protein is what I'm talking about. I stopped eating it. But I mentioned coconut oil, coconut meat, coconut water for another thing too. Another reason too is for his health is concerned. Because it's the only thing that has me looking like this here. Y'all saw the video. If you didn't see, go look at the video. When I lost all of that weight in the beginning, I was not eating my healthy fats. And so my weight just went all the way down. It got to a point where I was in a in a zero. No, I was in a two. I was in a size two and I would have to go to the store and the two was falling off and I was like, you know what? That's it. I ain't buying no zero. And I ain't going in no kitty section. I'm going home. I don't need no clothes. Because <laughs> I refuse to buy the zero and go to the little girl section to have clothes because I knew I wasn't going to stay there. But then I started to incorporate eating this is why i talk about this all the time eating coconut oil because that's really what the people that eat dead animals talking about when they talk about protein they're really talking about amino acids the building block of that muscle right the healthy fats 
This is also could be coconut uh, oil could be used as a pre-workout at the same time too to give you energy. Even when I was, this is why when I went on my 90 day fast, I knew to incorporate coconut oil. I told y'all about all of the fruits that I was eating on my 90 day fast. But I also told you the only thing I was consuming was coconut oil because I remember when I first became a vegan and let that meat go, it was the only thing that put weight back on my body. If I wouldn't be consuming coconut oil right now, I would still be a size two. <laughs> and although size two was sexy and cute and whatever, I kind of, I, I, I don't want to say kind of, I love my size right here. I feel comfortable right here. And I have a whole bunch of clothes right here in this size. I don't, I don't have but a couple of twos. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm good. <laughs> so don't sleep on coconut water or coconut oil or coconut meat. Don't sleep on there. Ever since I got off my 90-day face, I've been eating maybe every two or three days, y'all. But I take my coconut every day. I'm not hungry. I don't crave. I don't have the, no bloating. I sleep so good. I have vivid dreams. I'm telling you all something very important. Whether you want to go on a transformation or not. I still think even if you still eating your meat, it's going to help with them parasites that's in the meat. Even if you still eating your meat, you can have some coconut oil before you eat your meat to fill you up first. That way you don't have to eat all of the meat. That way you don't have to eat meat in every bite. You know, that way that, that way is still lubricating your inside. So it's helping to lubricate, take care of that, that film around the parasites or any viruses that may, you may be picking up from them animals. And it's helping expel that. It's helping you with your ear to bowel syndrome. It'll help you with inflammation because it's anti-inflammatory, antiviral, anti-parasitic, antimicrobial. It is so good for you. You can't go wrong with it. Put it inside of your warm tea. Don't cook with it. Never cook with coconut oil. Put it inside your warm tea. Put it on top of your, your warm food and let it melt and just eat the food like that. Or if you're real gangster like me, I just get a teaspoon of the stuff and I just down it in my mouth because my mouth is warm and it's going to melt up in here and I just swallow it. But I only swallow it after I beat the oil pulled or whatever. All right? After I beat and brush my teeth. An oil pool and extracted all of, you know, any waste that could probably be growing or whatever or in there. And then I'll swallow me some coconut oil, right? Because coconut oils, oil pulls things and draws things to it. So I like to oil pull. So all whatever needs to be drawn and spit out or expelled, it'll come out. And then I, you know, swallow the coconut oil and go by my day. Okay? I hope you got that. <laughs> I hope you got that. Let's see. Hey, man. I see I want to leave meat alone and go vegan, but don't know where to begin. You could begin <laughs> by checking out my transformation course. That'll be the perfect place for you to begin, Shonda. On my website, I have a Power Within transformation course. I left 18 videos from when I was size 2 that I'm talking about available on that course. This was me doing the research. Me going to the grocery stores, teaching about PLU numbers, teaching about organic versus non-organic, teaching how to meditate, how to attract um, financial gain, how to read labels, how to avoid harmful ingredients. I taught it all and left it all for my reflection. I was really just leaving it for my children because I wanted my children, my you know, my family to be on board. But I knew that this, this year journey was about me. <laughs> you know, but I compiled all of that and I left that available for you. It's called the Power Within Transformation Course. If you click on my profile picture at the top, all you got to do is click on my profile picture at the top, Shonda. And when you go there, you'll see my website. My website link is www.saltoftheearthpub.org. You click that link and when you're on my website, you'll see a picture of me. Right underneath the picture of me, it says the Power Within Transformation Course. Click on that course. You have everything in a person walking you through it. Every step of the way on how to eliminate this out of your body. How it also have a video how to detox the body, how to cleanse out your organs. Yeah. 
Yeah. How to even, I talk about both physical and spiritual. So I tell you about the foods and everything too, but I also got to tell you about them thoughts and the way that you feel about yourself. So I threw in some self-concept um, videos too. How to reprogram your mind is one of them. How to, to, to reprogram your mind and how to rewrite your story. <laughs> so that way you're sending out a new signal. And so when you buy that course, if you if you purchasing that course today, I want to give you an additional, um, oh, I scratched myself. I just felt it. I want to give you additional discount. And the discount code is, I am ready. I am ready is the discount code. Oh, I scratched myself. Let me give me some coconut oil to put on my bobo. One more. <laughs> yeah, the discount code is, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. So the website is Salt of the Earth. Pub.org. And the discount code is I am ready. So yeah, it is another way coconut oil can be used. What I told you is anti-inflammatory. My skin inflamed right here on fire. I don't know how I cut myself. Oh, probably when I grabbed them boxes for y'all, the side of the box probably got me. But I am ready is the coupon goal. I am ready. Ooh, that's a, that feels good. It's soothing it because I was wondering why my arm tingling while I was talking to y'all. I am ready. So whenever you are ready, check out the Power Within Transformation course. Because I'm, I'm teaching on air. I didn't know who I was talking to during that time. I didn't know that I was going to be giving that to y'all one day. I really didn't. I was just talking. <laughs> I was just talking. You know, I'm a little introvert. You know, we be have, I be having whole com conversations and concerts going on in my house. Because, you know, introverts, we creative like that. You give us a lonely moment in life, you think we bored and stuff. We'll be bored. We'll be bored. Mm -mm. We know we all that exists anyway. <laughs> we don't need the attention in a crowd of other people. See, if I wasn't on this live, I probably was, probably was pretending, would be pretending that I'm on the live. So I just said, let me just go ahead and hit the button, you know, because I be having little search, um, little church sermons and stuff in the car. I, I shared with y'all one of the TikToks when I was having a little... <laughs> sermon and I just swear because now my mind my first eye is so open and I use my ability to focus and a controlled imagination so well till I just be having church and I be thinking a congregation of people looking at me all the time I really do that's how my mind works and <laughs> wait I'm telling y'all too much <laughs> I'm telling y'all too much I am ready yeah thank you I will no problem shall look let me catch up on these comments over here. But what the doctor is going to ask you is what's wrong with you and be like, that's what I came here for. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But I mean, I, I still feel like doctors are necessary, you know, to sew on a leg and stuff like that. You know, when you're in an accident, <laughs> I, I feel like they're really necessary for that. You know, you know, put your finger on if you cut it, you know, stitch you up or whatever. Yeah. I, I like they you know have purpose but at the same time i feel like you and i well i don't want to say i feel like i know that you and i know the answer to everything that's ailing us because i know you and i both have a subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is your land book of life your your akashic records it knows all because it's in in tune with all because it never sleeps and anytime you want to really know something about yourself god all you got to do is ask yourself a question and you're going to get a thought or you're going to get an image about what the answer is god never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer so you know your answer you know what's wrong that's why when sometimes your lymphatic system is backed up and you go to the doctor and they do blood work and they don't see nothing in the blood because the lymphatic system <laughs> don't really show you know, what the blood show what's wrong with it when you're doing a test on blood. That's why you sit there and you be like, but something ain't right. Yeah, you know something ain't right. You know you better than the blood tests or whatever know you. You feel you. You're experiencing you. And so you're doubting that. Because you know 
something is not right, but I just can't put my finger on it. I'm telling you what the finger needs to be put on is the fact that your lymphatic system is tired. And it's, it's tired because you're not filtering all of the waste. You're not releasing. So in the physical, you're not filtering all the waste that you're consuming by digesting it in your body. But here is two sides. Now, the of polarity is two sides. It's both physical and spiritual. So that's what's happening in the physical. But how did this start? Because in the spiritual realm, you wasn't filtering through that trauma. <laughs> you was holding on. Yeah, that hurt and that pain and that guilt and that shame. So because you held on to that energetically in the spiritual realm, it had to show up in the physical. Because as above, so below. On earth as it is in heaven. You get it? So some of us walk around and we be acting like we all healed. And, and you know, like church people, they say, I'm blessed and highly favored. But we walk around and say those things and act like those things, trying to trying to make it seem like we we got things figured out, especially on TikTok. We like to act like our life is so figured out. And everything is just so perfect, but we don't be believing. It's cool to do that, but you got to know that everything is okay. <laughs> but see, energetically, you cannot lie about how you truly feel if you don't know that all teams are working out for you. That means you're sending out a signal that I really don't know. And guess what? you sending that signal out to your reflection. So that's how we can read you and see that you ain't got it figured out. And that's the same signal that's going on in your subconscious mind, which is allowing you to experience this ease and disharmony when you don't know. So it's all about getting to know yourself and trust yourself and have the right thoughts because the thoughts that you send out could actually heal your body alone without any urge, without any fruit. Because <laughs> all is consciousness because the spiritual realm is 99.999% of all that you are, you are experiencing. It is all. <laughs> so that's why in my transformation course, I have to go spiritual because I gotta keep, I gotta make sure that that I'm telling you everything you need to the core. So in the transformation course, we're talking about the little girl and the little boy and you too. Because if it's the little girl and the little boy and you walking around as an adult, he or she's still up in there. And this is why we have adults that catch temper tantrums. In corporate America, they exist. I used to work with them. They catch temper tantrums. No way. It's my turn to pre present the PowerPoint presentation. I don't feel worthy. Nobody loves me. This is pretty much what they little girl and little boy be saying in corporate America in a professional setting. No way. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Nobody loves me. I feel guilt. I feel shame. You're picking on me. Why don't you like me? I'm going to be an overachiever because I want you to like me. I'm going to be nice because nice matters. That's what the little boy and the little girl be saying because of their trauma that they've been and went through. But this is a dog that's walking around in a suit or in a dress. Yeah. And so that means what I'm saying here, I ain't judging them. What I'm saying here is the signal that they are emitting is coming from the spiritual realm. And it's causing them people their own dis-ease and disharmony because where they are with their inner being, where they are subconsciously and don't even know. It's like they got a little sticker on their head and we all can see that they look, they're, they're a little boy catching the temple tantrum in the conference room and a sticker on their head. But they can't read the sticker though. They can't read the sticker. They can't. It's hidden. It's hidden from them. They don't see the sticker. It's a subconscious thing. And that's part of the transformation course healing that really needs to take place. The subconscious part. And when you're ready to really invest in yourself, you 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 take that course. When you're ready to when you're tired like I was, you take that course and you'll digest that thing. And you'll do the work. You ain't going to just take it to just write down stuff. And ain't going to be a doer. <laughs> you're going to do the work. When you're really, really ready. Yeah. What did you do about your vertigo? 
vertigo. I used to get that a lot prior to changing my diet. My vertigo went away when I changed my diet. I remember like it was yesterday. And you know, a lot of this stuff happened so long ago that I be forgetting because it's just I post some pictures and I because I was on my computer and I saw them old pictures. I was like, let me share these pictures because dang, I forgot about Essence and Columbia University. And you know, when I was a size two, let me share this with these people. But anyway, I remember like it was yesterday, I was on the bridge many times trying to come home from work. Vertigo was when I just caught these dizzy spells, like right. I'll be going in Sam's or whatever. It was like I got out of breath. My heart would be racing in the whole freaking universe. It was just spinning. It didn't matter where I was. But I remember I was real scared that one time. I, that's why I remembered it first. That one time when I was on the bridge. On the Greater New Orleans Bridge in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I pulled over on the side of the road. Because the road and the bridge was spinning. My head was spinning. And I rest my head on the steering wheel. And this was part of the journey when I was just eating what I wanted. Fast food, you know, two-piece spicy white with mashed potatoes, jalapeno pepper. Yeah, Wendy's. And then when I went to Wendy's, I would get the little chicken salad thinking I was doing something. And then putting the salad on top of, you know, my my little parasites, my little toxicity, which it wasn't really doing anything because my ability to eliminate and absorb minerals wasn't even there. So what I did in order for that to go away is I began to detox my body. My my product, I promise you all, my product, I created this stuff for me at that time. This is what I did for the Virgo. I put these things together, these herbs, these seven herbs inside of here for my Vertigo because I was spinning on the side of the bridge because I wasn't going to the bathroom. My irritable bowel syndrome, this is available on my website. It's called Sustained Detox. I wasn't going to the bathroom, but every three to four days. So I got up in that kitchen and, and this is how I started. I'm going to tell you, I went for the nasty stuff. This stuff is bitter herbs. So you need to put this in like a gel capsule, a veggie capsule to digest it. You could get them from Amazon. You could get them from a whole food store. You probably could get that from Walmart. Empty gel capsules. Or if you gangster, you, could, you think you could handle bitter herbs by putting, little, putting it in a little bit of your um, orange juice or a little bit of some kind of citrus juice that'll take away the taste in your mouth so you can digest it you could do it that way too but these are the herbs that i took to get rid of the vertigo the ear to bow and i forgot i was anemic dude yeah i stayed getting cold cold all the freaking time so these bitters helped me to eliminate they get rid of old fecal matter that's sitting on the side and on the walls of the intestines and help you to go to the bathroom. And this here product, I would also say, contributed to my vision in increasing or improving. Because I wore glasses too. This is my first. This is my baby. <laughs> this is my baby right here. Sustained Detox. And I use inside of here, I don't list all of my ingredients on this package. But I will tell you a couple of them. But the most powerful of them all. That I needed at that time was iron to deliver oxygen to my darn brain being that I, <laughs> I was at a place, I'm laughing now, but more I was crying in. I was at a place where when I take a shower in a hot shower, you know, hot water shower, I pass out. I pass out. That must, that was how deprived of oxygen I was in my journey. I would literally pass out from a shower. I was on side road with the vertigo and I was full of crap. When I used in the bathroom. Because I had ear to bowel syndrome too. You see. I took this. This is this is what I took. It's called sustained detox. It helps to deliver oxygen. So the same thing that I'm talking about. Okay that's help now. That's what it's going to do to help now. But at the same time. These herbs open up my pineal gland. Let's go to the spiritual. These herbs are the same herbs I'm talking about. That when I was in that conference room. I say the same story. This is how you know. If you've seen me before, if you watch my YouTube channel, I'm consistent with everything I'm saying because this is my life. I'm telling you. It's like I said it like that. <laughs> These are the herbs that I'm talking about when I ever mentioned that I was in a conference room in a little technical meeting and a, it was like a light switch that went off and I began to gain mental clarity again. This is what I was on. This is it. Right here. And when you take this and you feel how it kind of like, you can feel almost like it's gathering. Like it, it's pulling old fecal matter. And in the beginning, 
If you full of crap, all of that stink crap got to come out. I'm talking about the crap that's been sitting there that's causing the belly to protrude. I'm talking about that, 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 that old stubborn bowel movement. Not the bowel movement that's right there at the door. I'm talking about the one that, that's up here. Not the one at the door. The one that's up here. Oh yeah, it'll gather. Because see, right here, this is the area that, that where that absorption and ability to eliminate takes place. So you clean up this little canal. Oh, you Gucci. All up. You you renew your mind when this here part get clean. But he, the process of cleansing is going to start in the back. It's going to start in the back. It's almost like your, your lymphatic system and your kidneys and then your upper back. You, you, I literally felt this. I literally walked this walk when I became a vegan and when I went on my 90-day phase and started cleaning out my lymphatic system all up my back. And then, then right up in this area of my chest, you could cut like feel like toxicity or, or purging going on. And so all of the back and all of the front got to get clear first. And then it opens up the pathway for all of that mucus and everything that's up here to drain out. So that's why if you ever told that there's one pill that you need to take for parasites, that's a lie. And if that same pill, you only have to take it for two days and it's two day fix, that's a lie. Because your body has to get to a cellular cleanse. And in order to do a cellular cleanse, you need to be on something for at least 30 days. Yeah. And that's something that you need to be on. needs to be antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, antifungal. And at the same time, it needs to provide iron to your body, magnesium, chlorophyll, zinc. This is why I call this sustained detox. Because it's going to sustain you while detoxing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody said, boy, bye. Will somebody cutting up? Somebody cutting up in there? <laughs> you guys to get that duck flower. The best for all body health. Duck flower. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's a fact. Hey, T uh, Ted. Tedda? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody though tell us that Jesus ain't gonna do the individual work for us though. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people you know in religion, they want Jesus to do the individual um work for us. They be putting their their bills in the Bible and just, hey Jesus, take care of my bill. You know, some people really take religion to that to that level, you know. Hey Fred, thank you for being here, babe. I'm on both of my um, pages right now, so I'm looking at the comments from over here. Hey, uh, thanks for the roses, um, brown sugar. Love the look. Oh, thank you, me mama. You know it's bad hair day, and I just, I just said I'm gonna do a little. Look, I was trying to do a little, little point. <laughs> I gotta wash my hair today, and I just wanted to go live, and so I just threw this on right quick. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Harmless harvest, coconut water. What you think? Harmless. Let me look at that right quick. I got my computer open. Let me see what that one look like. Harmless harvest coconut water. Let me see this here. Harmless harvest. Huh. I'm looking at the ingredients. I haven't, I haven't purchased this one before. 100% coconut, raw coconut water. Oh, yeah. The ingredients say 100% coconut water. Fair trade certified. Yeah. I think they sound perfect. Perfect. Yeah. They got so much, um, so much potassium in coconut water. You saw that on the back of that bottle? Oh, yeah. Go for it. Definitely. You know, the, the ones that I'm talking about, they be adding all kind of fillers. And they'll, they'll, they'll kind of like tell you, you know, the, the preservatives and stuff that they add to it. So you always still, even when you're buying coconut water, don't assume, don't assume with nothing that you're putting in your body. Turn that thing around and look at them ingredients. But that one sounds really, really perfect. I like that one, actually. I like the bottle that it comes in, too. I'll go for it. And outside of that. I, I still love, I really love, I love even just using my coconut tool kit just to open the thing. I feel like I'm, you know, y'all know I like to play with my human imagination. I be feeling like I'm in Jamaica somewhere. I just quantum jumped to Jamaica. Come here, boy. 
help me. Help me open this coconut, will you? <laughs> so I just quantum jump in my mind. Like, you know, get the full effect. Yeah, don't, you, you know, nobody don't have to know what you're thinking. Just think it. <laughs> hey, uh, Yachtown, thank you for joining. I'm live on both of my platforms. That's why I'm looking over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, I'm just tuning in. You're talking about real fruit? Yes. Hey, V, how you doing? Real fruit. Real seeded fruit. That's how we know it's real. The female fruit is what I'm saying. Not the, you know, male fruits that they've been serving that are seedless that pretty much are made in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about health and wellness. I'm talking about all kind of stuff. My transformation course where if you're ready that you can actually go to my website, uh, which is linked in my bio. Right on in my picture, the Power Within Transformation course is available for those who are ready or need assistance, need better understanding about health and wellness when they're going on this vegan journey or just going on a detox for a temporary time. Because a lot of people want to go back to their meat. You know, they love their meat. But at least have the knowledge, at least clear your mind, at least lighten the load of your body if that's what you're going to do i ain't here to judge you if you're doing a temporary thing you know at least know to the core that your thoughts matter and that what you put in your body matters too and so my transformation course covers both of that the physical and the spiritual how to read ingredients how to grocery shop how to watch out for the harmful ingredients how to cleanse out your organs all kind of how-to videos. It's about 18 or 19 how-to videos of me when I was in a size two, when I first started my journey. And I also go into self-concept videos with your renewing of your mind because all is mine and the mind really trumps this whole team. That way you got your physical and your spiritual and you're in alignment. That way you are powerful. That way the little girl, the little boy inside of you has healed from its trauma and you're not carrying that weight on your shoulders or should I say in your adrenal glands and causing havoc on your kidneys. All sickness and disease start in the spiritual realm first before it manifests into the physical. And that's, this, that's just the God honest truth. No matter what you have, it stems from, it stems from the, um, the way you think the childhood trauma, or whatever you've been through, because all is mine. All is mine. And you can't run from yourself. So in order to face yourself, deal with it. Deal with yourself. Deal with it. And figure out the power within you. Because the power has always been in you. In the religion, they told us we were just little G kind of gods, but that was a lie. That was a darn big lie that have a lot of people not wanting to even, even believe that they're powerful. I'm sorry about that. Wait one second. My This one here about to die and get my charger. People don't even want to believe that they're powerful because of religion. Telling them that they're little G kind of God and that they're always going to have to be a little soldier. A little soldier in the army of the Lord. Yeah, but you could renew your mind today. You could let a new mind be in you. Yeah, and you are powerful. You are. Yeah. I got to get that. Yeah, it's available on my website. <laughs> I see you laughing at me. Well worth the money, folks. Yep, it's being so, Miss being so, um, purchased it. She was one of the many people that purchased on the first day that I talked about. I was like, Lord, they must have been ready for that thing. They must have been ready. Look, <laughs> and the coupon code is I am ready. They must have been ready. Yeah, I am ready. Thank you, Miss being so, for putting that there. Let's see. I'm going, I'm trying to catch up. The mess. Hey, P. Rod, I didn't know you was up in here. I get mine with extreme stress. Yeah, I had it two weeks ago. It felt like an out of body experience. Yeah, so stress is the is the trigger for when you get your vertigo. Is what you're saying? I can see that. Yeah, because like the times now that you say that, the times that I got it, I was like rushing home from work on the bridge, going to Sam's, and I had just left um a bigger store, walking around. Yeah. Because I used to have to, on this particular job during that time, I was the admin in the contract department. And we were like, it was contract compliance department. And so I paid contracts for the contractors for storms. Then I went on storms in four different states. And I was a logistic person. 
And so I had to go to the store and buy the snacks and, and for the guys and make sure that they had knew where dinner was and bring them the dinner in the little van and make sure that I passed around with snacks and make sure they had water and wasn't overheated. It was like I was the mama for Lyman. And there was always a storm because we covered four states, whether it was a hurricane or winter, or whatever, because we covered Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, and Arkansas. And I was a go-to person. Where I'm, where I'm staying at, I'm hungry. My time ain't right. And this and that and other. And then I had to go to the store and it was just so much. And so, yeah, I could. that makes so much sense because I was on the side of the road with vertigo because I was stressed out. And so I started spinning and all of this. But at the same time, that stress, stress is a silent killer. Stress brings havoc on your adrenal glands. That's why a lot of people have kidney issues right now. Because of stress. <laughs> Not just the foods. It's stress too. So yeah. That makes a whole, whole lot of sense. Yeah. I ain't stressed now. I don't work for nobody. I'm retired. I left that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, Demi. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Then I definitely need that. Yeah, yeah, Gucci. <laughs> you get grateful when you picking me up from the airport. Airborne. <laughs> picking you up from the airport. I don't remember saying I was picking you up from the airport. Thanks for that truth. You are so welcome, Lee. Hey, love and peace. Hey, Thunder. I've had it before. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you talking about you had the that particular coconut? The realest one and the best tasting one is going to be the young coconut. This is going to be the real best one. Wait, let me see. Let me see if I can get one out. This is the, my favorite. Because you know, you know nobody, you know nobody ain't go up in here and manipulate this here and get past this husk and go in there and mess with your water. And that's another thing about fruit, you know. I like fruit with like harder shells, like the watermelon, for example. Because, you know, I don't care if the green part of the watermelon nerdy, you know. But then they have these fruits like the, um, the strawberries. I'm mindful of the dirty dozen, they call it. I'm mindful of the dirty dozen of, um, of, um, strawberries and things like that because when they spray the pesticide on it then it's, it's being absorbed because it's soft but with this here you know nobody ain't add no preservative or nothing this gonna be the best one it's gonna be the best the one that came off the tree and man didn't get a chance to manipulate it in any way it's going to be the most nutritious one. You ain't got to worry about them adding no absorbic acid in here or any other type of preservative or any type of flavor. You know how they, they hide it and say, oh, it's natural flavors. Okay. What does that mean, though? You know? Or real fruit juice. Real fruit coconut juice. No. Is it coconut water or not? You know, you ain't got to worry about going through all of that verbiage. Because I talk about that, too, on my Power Within Transformation course. On how to, to peep game with them people that, that, that's writing them ingredients out. <laughs> to peep game with that. I talk about reading ingredients. How to read ingredients on the Power Within Transformation course available on my website. Look y'all, I'm, I'm about to open one. I'm about to open one. Because um, I, I want something to drink. I want something to drink right quick. Let me see. Give me a second. splash joint right there but that's cool but look you open up this here thing nobody nobody been up in here ain't nobody been in here i know i'm getting something real i ain't got to question it i ain't got to question that none of my reflections went out there manipulating the energy of this coconut right here mm -mm. they would have had to go through too much i would have saw a sign and i ain't see no sign and this stuff is so good. Oh, it tastes so good. This is the best one. Now, you know they have the mother coconut, the brown coconut snow. This one here, to me, is naturally sweet already. And I love it so much. 
is naturally sweet because I come from New Orleans, Louisiana, and oh, it's Mardi Gras time down there. I'm missing my first Mardi Gras season, even though I didn't go to parades no more, but just the energy in the air. But anyway, in, for Mardi Gras, they would throw coconuts, but they would throw the brown ones. They ain't never have none like this here. And so when I was a little girl, I would always have a coconut, you know, and I, I tried before coconuts and I always hated them <laughs> because the coconut water from those kind was really bitter like. But the young coconut, these white ones that I'm that I have right here, these are sweeter to me. And I really love coconuts now. So it depends upon which kind you're getting when you're getting the real one. But this right here, I want to show y'all this here little meat. If y'all can see it. This here, in, the inside of it, has what I call coconut meat. It's like coconut flesh. This is edible too. This has the same benefits that water has because it's been soaking inside of it. This is antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial. This is good for you. <laughs> this is healthy fats. This is the AKA protein, the organic kind that they're talking about on the organic side. Amino acids. This is what you're looking for. People, you know, meat eaters call it protein, but on this side, being a vegan, it's amino acids. The building block of that muscle. Anti viral, antifungal, antiparasitic. This is real hydration at a cellular level. This heals your body. This will sustain you when you are on an out day fast, when you first become a vegan. I talk about this in the Power Within Transformation course and much more. But you want to get the course because you want, you want to know what to eat. You also want to know how to find the organic stuff, how to read the ingredients. You want to know about your shake seasons. You want to know how to, what type of water to drink. You want to know what's happening to your body when you're losing all this weight, when you're detoxing, when, when your skin maybe start to dry out first, you know, when your acne, because like when you start to heal your skin, then, you know, you're going to get like a little dial off of fat. When your bowel and you get in diarrhea, diarrhea, you want to understand that this is part, God darn it, this is part of the detox phase. Wait, let me rinse my thing off because I don't want I had that orange down there, and I won't mix the two. <laughs> One of y'all wanted my coconut meat, and y'all made me drop it. Y'all was drooling over my meat. <laughs> Let me catch up on these uh, comments. Hey, Steph. Hey, Chosen Me. Good to see you too, babe. High contracted kidney cancer from stress. I just was talking about that. That's Kaya. I just was talking about that. Stress is a silent killer. Your environment matters. Your environment matters. Thinking more positive while in a, a toxic environment matters too. That's what a law of assumption come in. I talk about that as well on my transformation course. Them thoughts. That's why I made sure I put physical and spiritual. Them thoughts. You could, you could, you could, you could be eating clean, supposedly, but have the most chaotic mindset. And if your mindset is chaotic, guess what? You still stress out. Guess what? You still got inflammation going from that stress because now your adrenal glands are on fire. Guess what? Your kidneys not releasing now. They're not filtering now because you stressed. And so when you stressed out, now your blood is flowing and circulating in your extremities because you, you're going to work in corporate America on flight or fight mode, which is the mode that you're supposed to be in when you're ready to fight and, and beat somebody butt or whatever, or kick or run, right? From running from a dog or whatever, or protecting yourself, right? That's the flight or fight mode that a lot of people in corporate America or a lot of people that stress in whatever environment they're they in are dealing with. And they don't understand it. They don't understand that. That it is destroying the cells of their body. Because now blood is not circulating up in here. The blood right here to make you stronger. The blood and the rest of your body think, wait, we, we about to fight? Because we in fight or fight mode. We got to bring all of the blood to the arms and to the legs and stuff. And so all of the blood that's here by the organs that need them the most, like your heart. <laughs> it's beating fast now while you stress. It's beating fast. 
but you ain't hungry. No, because ain't no blood flowing right there. No, no, no. You ain't you ain't thirsty. You ever been you've ever had a project at work? You know this to be true because they like you have a deadline at work to meet, and maybe you skip lunch that day. Like, no, I'm just stay focused. I'm gonna stay. I, I don't even have an appetite. I just want to get this thing over. Why is that? Because you in fight or fight mode. You don't be hungry and stuff in you no know, flight or fight mode. So you stress even the more. And if you are hungry, you sure ain't hungry just for no coconut water. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, stress is a silent killer too now. Yeah. Take care of them. A silent killer, yeah. I beat it in 2017. Blessings to you. That's confirmation. Yeah, definitely. Because that's how that thing go. That's how I go. I know. I've been in that situation. Mm, that coconut remind me of when I was a kid living in the jungle. You missed them. Oh, okay. That sounds like you had a good foundation. A lot of us didn't have it when we were children. Because I know I did it. I saw it at Mardi Gras. I tasted it before. But I didn't have it like, you know, I'm setting the foundation of my health now. A lot of us didn't. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, but I'm still thankful for my journey because, you know what? I went without healthy foods and I never liked anything healthy when I was a little girl. So I, it's almost like I've experienced life already with this ease and disharmony. I done did that part of the polarity. You know how I say everything is two-sided? I done did that part already. Yeah, I done, I done did that part already. I done drunk already. I, I used to drink. I stopped drinking early. I'm from New Orleans. All we did was party and drink and eat, eat, eat garbage. I done did all that already. I don't want to do that no more. That don't, need, that don't interest me no more. It's like, well, you know, for Thanksgiving and stuff, it's like, why am I even going just to show my face for five minutes and leave, you know, because I'm not about to stay and indulge in this here. This is like waste for me. Ain't nothing there that I want to eat. Ain't nothing there that I desire. They ain't, don't ever have a salad for me. So before I go, I just eat be full and go say hey to people in my family that you know I haven't seen in a while or whatever but I don't even stay long because I don't I don't it just don't feel like I belong no more in that environment <laughs> I just it's, I'm just a different person and I think and I don't I don't want to I don't be judgmental and I don't want to be around other people who still doing it and, and, and thinking that I'm judging them for what's on their plate look that's your body that's your life I'm over it <laughs> Because I used to get that, you know, when I go there. Like, don't be looking at what's on my plate. Like, I don't care what's on your plate. If you could deal with you, that's all that matters. How you feel matters. I feel good. Because I ate before I came up in here. Because I knew I wasn't going to sit up here and just eat no dead animals all day with y'all. They eat everything up in that, that they had up in the house, in the freezer, in all of the cabinets. And put it on the table. A whole month's worth of food. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. Well, I, <laughs> I ain't doing already is all I'm saying and so I feel like in all of our journeys if we go through a state where we we we, we maybe already drunk now we want to be sober we already maybe ate a toxic diet then one day we want to be healthy you know because with God experiencing the all God wants to experience itself but all is God it, it wasn't the devil, like the church people would say. That was the devil that was making me eat that kind of food. But I rebuked him in the name of Jesus. No, that was me. That was me experiencing myself. And I'm going to be easy with myself. And I appreciate myself for going through that route. Because now I could I could understand myself in the totality of who and what I am. And what I need for my avatar self in this body. <laughs> what I need to function. What I need to sleep better. What I need to feel good. And I'm okay with when I used to eat pork chops and stuff. I'm okay. I'm not hard on myself. I'm okay with how my weight was, actually. Whether I was big or small, I'm okay with that. I just wanted to breathe. I don't care. I don't weigh myself. This ain't about getting losing the weight for me. I love me. I could be I could be four, 500 uh, pounds. Y'all could push, have to push me out of the house. I'm going to still love myself. I could be... A uh, size zero, what other people, because I once was, what other people, when I first went vegan, was telling me I looked like I was on crack. And I still love myself and be like, oh, well, I'm going to keep on going. 
Because I love me. Because I understand me. And I know me because I went inside of me to figure me out. It ain't about the weight at all. It's about how I feel. It's always been about how I feel. That's the only reason why I decided to do health and wellness because I didn't feel too well. I felt like I was going to die. And since I felt like I was going to die, I surrendered and I dared to do something different because I got tired of waking up every day with something new, some new experience of making me feel like, oh crap, this is a day. I'll probably die. <laughs> That's it. So the pictures that y'all might see on my TikTok, I love myself in every state of being. Matter of fact, there was a local pastor. I never forget. I went. They have this store, this little soul food corner store called Wags in in Marrero, Louisiana. And I was going to Wags, and they had a local pastor up in there. He hadn't seen me in a while, but I was in this soul food place because the owner, I liked the owner. You know, we came up together. And I went up in there and I was like, man, I wrote about this in my book too. I was like, man, I'm hungry, but I bet you ain't got nothing up in here for me to eat. I want to support you, but I don't eat this stuff no more. And we was just talking. He was like, well, I can make you a salad. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, okay, well, I want that. Da, da, da. You got cilantro? You know, you got this? And he's like, yeah. So he, he made me a salad. And while I was waiting for my salad, a local pastor walk up in here. And I was so happy to see the pastor because, you know, I come from religion. And I was like, you know, like a little humble little serving or whatever oh hi how are you ready to shake his hand and that pastor told me girl wouldn't what wouldn't happen to you are you on crack and i was like dang now mind you the pastor was 300 and something pounds black man 300 something pounds now he wasn't getting no salad he was there for the soul food but he gonna ask me if i was on crack and i'm thinking to myself respectfully pastor you need to be on crack with me. <laughs> but I told him not to. I was like, no, 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 I'm not. I just make healthier choices now. i never forget that. Because it hurt my little feelings at that time. And they made me kind of like want to stop for a moment. That on top of the fact that black men, you know, black men like booties. They like aces and stuff like that. And so the black men wasn't looking at my ass no more because I had a little pancake ace at size two. And so I'm like, dang, because all my life I was, I was known as little brick house. I was known as little heartbreaker. And the thing that I was used to, I wasn't getting no more. But check this out. The black men wasn't paying attention to me, but guess who was? The white men. See, everything is two-sided. Oh, but the white men, they was like, oh, they thought I was perfect. They thought I was a little Haley Berry, little black lady. Yes, they did. But I had to consciously choose to decide, you know what? I don't care what the black man think about me, what the pastor think about me, or what the white man think about me. All I care about is how I feel and my ability to be able to breathe again. My ability to be able to experience life and enjoy life with my children and maybe one day with my grandchildren. See, I was tired. I was ready. And I stayed focused. And my bonus for me staying focused was, guess what? My vision improved. A few weeks later, after I ran into that pastor, my vision improved. Because I was on some same detox right here. My vision improved. And I didn't have to wear eyeglasses no more. I was able to take my eyeglasses off. Now, I was somebody that was in corporate America staring at the computer screen all day. And I needed glasses and a page to read. better without the things on now what's going on and that kept me on course then i started having bowel movements then my skin started clearing up then i began to get mental clarity and energy i'm like man the doctor ain't never told me nothing, nothing about eating right this is the key i gotta tell other people and you know i was so excited about it and i thought i thought telling other people would be like Oh, I had a gift to give to the world and everybody was going to just jump on board and everybody was just going to be so happy because I figured it out, y'all. We ain't got to suffer, y'all. We, we ain't got to do this. We've been taught wrong, y'all. We've been taught wrong. And you know what? When I started telling people closest to me thinking I'm presenting a gift, they was like, oh, Lord, here she come. Girl, nobody don't want all that. Go ahead on. Here come the nurse. Hide your plate. And they, 
It was like they shunned me away. Like, what? I did a presentation in corporate America. Now, you know, some other people, you know, embrace me because, you know, there's going to be a balance on both sides. But one day I did, I did presentations in front of hundreds of thousands of people before, even in corporate America, the place where I worked at. And one day I did this presentation. They had this guy who had the most toxic diet. Like, right, he would go in the lunchroom when he's warmed up his little stuff. He had the whole floor smelling like stank eggs. Like, you know, just stank, just eggs, just stank eggs. Anyway, I did a presentation and he was up in the room and I was talking about how, you know, getting sun and, and positive thinking and eating better, heal people of cancer and what it did for me. And, and I, in the place was a utility company called Entergy. It was a power company where I was telling y'all that I travel with. Well, I relayed the message of the presentation around energy, frequency, and vibration so I could meet them where they are. And I was talking about transformers and lights out and da-da-da-da as it pertained to health. Now I'm like, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be gonna be ready, right? <laughs> but people don't get ready when they are ready. This dude, this dude started yelling, y'all. One out of all the other people. Everybody else liked it, but this one dude. And he was like, this is some bull crap. That is not true. You see, sometimes in your journey, when you ready, you need to stay focused on you being ready because everybody ain't going to be ready. Everybody ain't going to be happy. You think you presented to such a gift, but you done triggered some people. You done stepped on some people's toes. You done did something because he, he peeped game with the, with the, with the pastor, 300-pound pastor. Peeped game, really, what he was saying is, wait, hold up. Let, let me dismiss you and say you look like you on crack because you over here doing something that I don't have the ability to do and I'm supposed to be leading to the multitude. <laughs> so the guy who got triggered in the conference room was saying, wait, hold up. Hold up here. You <laughs> are beneath me. You, because, you know, color wise, I was you know outnumbered. You are beneath me. I don't want this message coming from you. You triggering me because I'm the opposite of you. And I don't even have the ability to do the things that you do. I talk a good game about me running and stuff. But I'm also talking about how I'm mentally fatigued and stressed out. And I pass out sometimes when I'm running and stuff. But you have strength and endurance and the diet. Oh wait, hold up. How dare you? You done triggered me. So I got to break you down. See, so, 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 so take the, the journey and, and make it about you. You're going to have me with the transformation course talking to you, encouraging you, but the journey is about you. Sometimes the people in your home, I'm telling you, I brought, I brought this to my children when they were young so they could better understand health and wellness because I told them, look, I'm not raising no ducks. I want you to understand even if when you get a little older, you fall away from it. But, but going in, in, in intertwined with, with the biblical text, train up a child the way that they should go, go. And when they grow old, they won't depart from it, right? So I was just I was just saying, look, I'm going to teach you this here. I know you two are men, and I know y'all going to do what the heck you want to do. But at least before you, I, you leave this house, I'll be them embedded in you knowledge of self, knowledge of health and wellness. They experienced it. They know it. They know. But it, it is but they're young. And so I can't even as their mother. They sometimes ask me, Mom, make me, because I only make a salmon and maybe some chicken. Mom, could you please make salmon like you used to do before you got became a vegan? Mom, could you please make chicken just like you used to do? Or if they go out and eat something, like if they go to a Thanksgiving meal or whatever, they'll come whisper in my ear, hey, ma, I love you, ma. I'm, I'm about to I'm about to tear this food up, ma, but you go get this stuff out of me, right? You, 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 you're going to get this stuff out of me, right? I'm like, yeah, go ahead, go wild out. Because I don't judge them. I let them experience their life because they have their own journey. Just as long as I give them that, that wisdom, knowledge, and instruction, they know the foundation. They are just like the prodigal son. They're going to know how to come back home. They're going to know for when they need it. That's what it's all about. Knowing when you need it, that way you know better and you're equipped to do better when you need to. That's what that transformation course is all about. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, 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 good. Thank you for being here. 
let's see um did you order it and how do we you order from my website i don't know if miss being so caught that one already my website is in my bio go to my website there's a direct link underneath my picture you'll see the title called transformation course the power within transformation course enter the coupon code i am ready and you'll get an additional discount it's already on sale but when i go live i like to share another additional discount i am ready you got all the tools right there everything you need right there you just need to be ready <laughs> yeah thank you miss miss la how you say that Ladanje, I hope I said that right. The Caribbean young one, good too. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right about that. Three sixty. Yeah, great job. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. They look good. I would love to have them. What brand are they? Um, I'm sorry, I was running my mouth. Uh, Best. This is a brand from Be Best. Nam Hong Young Coconut. Produced in Thailand, but it's the brand called Best that I got from um, an Asian market out here. But, you know, they have different brands at different Asian markets. You know, they all have a different one. But find Google International Market near me. Those international markets got the real coconuts. And they're roughly about $19 out here. And they normally stuff high out here in Arizona. So depending upon where you are, you know, it might be a little bit less expensive than that. But 19, three, and you get nine. The case of nine. Yeah. The brown one is old and the meat is used for stews. Oh, that's what that is, 360. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. That's the ones that they throw for Mardi Gras. Them, I, don't, I don't like to drink the brown juice. The brown juice. It makes sense that it's used for stews. Mm hmm. The protein. Okay, okay. Yeah, the real protein. <laughs> God is 11 laughing at me. Hey, 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 chosen. Yeah, where are those? Oh, from the Asian market. I'm sorry. Asian market. You sure telling the truth. God is, yeah, I am. On day 40 of my fast. Thank you for inspiring me to start. Look at you. Best kept secret on the face, y'all. That is so beautiful. And I'm sure you're using some kind of, some form of coconut something. Coconut water, coconut oil. Which one? Because if you if I inspired you, I know you heard me say that because I love the coconut or the coconut meat. Yeah, and the key lines for them kidneys. All right, we done talked about that. We done talked about it. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. Yeah, girl. Yeah, we want to be inside charging the vehicle and educating ourselves on high level. Yeah, definitely. 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 Hey, blue stripe. <laughs> I see you up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Am I caught up with these comments? They ain't ready. <laughs> Who not ready? They'll come when they sick. Yeah. And that's sometimes the time. You know, I, I consult with a lot of people that's sick. You know, with cancer. I know a lot of people that got cancer. I know a lot. And that's when they come. Matter of fact, another story. One of the... A millionaire guy friend of mine at that job that I used to always go out to lunch with. And this guy, I'm telling you, this guy taught me about stock and investing. This guy helped me so much and helped me retire from that same job because he knew a wealth of information. This guy had one of them hacking coughs. Mind you, I was still, I was doing what I'm doing now, but I had a job. So it stopped me from coming live as long as I could come live now and, you know, having my time. I'm like, right? This guy showed me a, um, a picture of a new construction home that he built. And, you know, he had his own business. He had it going on young. Young man dressed to the T with his little bellies and his little expensive clothes and jackets and little eight ball leather jackets and smelling with the best colognes and taught me about shopping downtown at Saks and stuff like that. He had me out there hanging with him, spending money like he was just abundant. Everything about him, abundant. He had one of them, y'all know the little, um, the little flying thing that see, that take a picture. 
I can't think of it at this moment, but a sky view picture of this new construction home that he built, right? <laughs> Bad. Ask me to help him decorate this same home, right? Had health issues. And I used to tell him all the time, baby, your health is your real wealth. Now, you done taught me all of this here's physical stuff. I need to teach you something about your health. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, give me some of the, let me get some of that sea moss out here. I gave him some sea moss for free. I gave him some for free. And he called me one day. He's like, hey, hey, B. How you doing? I need I need you to send me some some herbs. You know them herbs you used to talk to me about. And I was like, well, what kind you need? What's the problem? So I know I can mix you up something. Well, they're talking about I got stage four cancer. And I was like, oh, dude, are you serious? He's like, B, no, don't fuss at me. I know you've been on, don't fuss at me. I was like, no, and I had to fix myself. I was like, no, I ain't, I ain't gonna fuss at you. You know, I love you. But what the doctor say? Where is that? And do you, what, you, did you tell the doctor that you need to clean out your lymphatic system? Do you have an herbalist? Do you know that your lymphatic system is a backup for your blood? You got to get that mucus up out of there. You got to try this. You got to do that. You gotta. And I was just like so ready to educate him and everything. I was like, look, I'm about to send you a package. I'm send you a package now. I come back home because he live in New Orleans and I'm in Arizona now. He live in my hometown. I'm coming back home on such and such a day. But I'm going to send you this here now. You call me when you get it. You call me when you get it. Yeah, I love you. I sent you the same day. I called him maybe a week later because he didn't call me to tell me that he got it. And his best friend answered the phone. He's gone. He died. This happened about two weeks ago. I kid you not. He's died. He died. And the best friend answered the phone. And, and because I used to work with the guy who I'm telling you all about, I, I was like, she, the, the best friend said, may I ask who's calling? And I said my name. And she said her, her name. And I was like, oh. Because I used to go to lunch with this guy all the time when I worked over there. I was like, oh, he talked about you. And I remembered your name because you have a weird name. And I laughed at your name. <laughs> And we sat and talked on the phone. And I was like, well, I was really calling to find out why he never told me he got my herbs that I sent him. Because my herbs that I sent him was supposed to help him clean out his lymphatic system. So all of that money, all that knowledge about stock, all of them ballasts, the Jaguar, the, the new construction home, and all of the things, what does it profit him to gain the world? But don't even have knowledge of self. Can't even enjoy life. Young man. I ain't talking about no old man. I ain't talking about no grandpa. I'm talking about a young man. Experiencing dis-ease and disharmony. But never educated themselves on that. Educated every other way. But not on the knowledge of self. Yeah. A little millionaire, he would have been. He would have been a perfect husband. He, he used to like me. I just, I just, I just, I just like to be free. <laughs> I just like to just be. It's very, very sad though, when you got all that knowledge, but you fail to want to do something to the temple, the kingdom of God. So guess what? You got to rinse and repeat. In his next lifetime. He ain't won't figure himself out this lifetime. So maybe next lifetime he'll come up in, in, in fourth and physical form looking for health and wellness that time around. Because he didn't already experience this ease in his last one. So maybe he going to be a little girl. Maybe next lifetime a little woke girl telling his mama you know, or, he, or her mom or her dad. Mama, I don't, I don't want to eat the animals. And so then we wonder why these children come in woke. They didn't already experienced sleeping. <laughs> in the last lifetime, we talk about, oh, they haven't been here before. Yeah, because we come back over and over and over again until we evolve to our higher self, until our kingdom come. Mm -hmm. 
till we become the Christ conscious one. So if you're ready in this lifetime, while you're still here in physical form, check out the transformation course. It's available on my website. Use the code I am ready. So you can get an additional discount. I just shared that with you all when I'm on live about the code because I want you to get, I want it to be a value for you. I'm not here for your money. <laughs> I want you to evolve. I want it to be valuable. You know how they be having coaches that be selling stuff, you know, for $200, $2,000 for a course to learn about da 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 da. And it don't be having nothing in there. This is a valuable course that has everything in there for you. I'm not looking for, I mean, I want to get paid for all of my time. I'm in all kind of grocery stores to help you. I'm giving you all the wisdom and knowledge that I've learned from physical, from health to spirituality. I want re re to be, re you know, compensated for that. But it's, it's affordable for everybody. I want everybody to be able to excel in that area of their life. Everybody, no matter what color you are, no matter what tax bracket you in, because I want you to know that you're God. I want you to tap into your power because you know what's really the most rewarding thing about all of this here? About all of this here. The reason why I, I decided to do this full time instead of being in transmission engineering is because this is more rewarding to my soul. This is more rewarding to my soul. I used to sit there and look at bo in boring meetings and look at boring technical drawings and go travel around the world chasing storms and, 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 and turning on lights and, and all that stuff. That was real nice, you know, helping the people get their lights on. But this right here, this right here, when people email me tell me how much I changed their life, how much I inspired them. <laughs> When I'm dealing with people that have that have cancer and, and I'm able to tell them what to tell the doctor and they call me to come with them to the doctor and I, I make sure that they have the potassium because normally when you have the cancer, you have a whole, you have parasites, but you also are low in magnesium and potassium and I'm able to tell them those keywords so they could get the blood work done on that and then they realize, dang, I was really, really low in magnesium. How did you know that? I love that so much. I love opening up my phone, receiving emails from people that's wanting my help. Because I understand it's one thing about this, this, this life. <laughs> all of these people that I see, all of you out there that, that come to this life, that you're me. Yeah, when you understand spirituality, you understand that you're just a version of me at a different place in your life. So I'm going to help you. Like you are me. This is what he means in the biblical text when he says, love thy neighbor as yourself. Because your neighbor really is yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all that exists is you. You're just experiencing yourself. You're experiencing your thoughts. You're experiencing you at different frequencies. Just like the Christ conscious one was experiencing itself in the allegory text through the 12 disciples representing the 12 zodiac signs, representing 12 personalities, representing subconscious thoughts. Okay? And so when I help you, I'm helping myself. See, that's what I get. That's the reward. And it's, it's, not, it's not monetary gain. Yeah, I probably, probably have a little bit more in my bank account from helping myself. At a higher rate, I, I get it and I can do that, but I don't want to. I want to help that part of myself that was looking for help that was affordable because I had two children and I just couldn't afford to turn stuff. So if it was going to be too high, then I was just going to go ahead on and just try to make it the best that I knew how. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't do that. I want to be the part of myself that if I have time, when these people are emailing me and they're just asking me a question, but I know they're asking me a question based upon the product that they bought from me, that I'll sit there and I'll reply to that email. No matter if I'm tired. That's what I was doing 2 o'clock in the morning last night. Yeah. Because I was helping myself. I was already up, so I decided I'm going to help myself. And I'm not a braggadocious person. I don't come forward here telling you all the things that I, because I, I'm really confidential with, with my consultation. And so I don't come here reading all the little beautiful emails and hunting people down and saying, please, please, please leave a review. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not braggadocious at all. 
but I want to share that with you all to let you know this is working for people. If you need some receipts, it's working for people. I could be the receipt because <laughs> I'm the first life that I saved. My YouTube channel is a receipt because I've been doing this for about 10 years now. <laughs> yeah. Be easy with yourself. Be easy with yourself and take care of yourself. But most importantly, understand yourself. Because understanding yourself is loving yourself. And love is understanding. Okay? Yeah. I like the accent. Hey, Judah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are already saying it as I ask. Yeah, definitely. I just am. I love that name. I just am. I'm just all. I'm just all that exists. And I'm talking to you all. The only people that's here is the people that have asked the question why. I'm merely just your subconscious mind giving you your answer why. Because you're God in your reality over there. And God never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. So you'll find your answer maybe on the radio sometimes. On the billboard. A friend will tell you your answer. A coincidental TikTok will tell you your answer. But sometimes your answer is going to come from the mouth of one of your reflections like right now. You could be like, oh, I was just thinking about that. That ain't no coincidence. You was just thinking about it. And guess what? Thinking you were asking and ask and ye shall receive, God. <laughs> you are doing this thing all by yourself, God. You are alone, God. <laughs> you just are, just like that username, I just am. You just are all that exists, God. And you just on a journey experiencing yourself. So all of you that didn't pass through today, you just was asking yourself this question already. And you just passed through and now you're still sitting here looking at me like, I'll I be darned. How she know? How she know what I was thinking about last night? <laughs> Funny how that goes, huh? <laughs> I'm ready. You say, I'm ready. I shave. Grateful. In any case, this video... What do you believe about Jesus? <laughs> That's a cool question. I believe that you are Jesus. I believe that I am Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe that we all are Jesus. We all are the Christ conscious one. I believe that that parable was a book. Well, that allegory text was a book to you, from you, about you. I believe that all of the disciples in it, in every story in it, was a story about you expressing yourself at a different state of being. I believe your story was created when you were just pure energy. You know, the darkness that was on the face of the deep in Genesis. When you was just an atom, molecule, frequency, whatever you want to call it, energy. So you started off, not atom, you started off as an atom. But you wanted to experience this thing called life in physical form. And starting off as atom, you went through different stages in physical form until you became the Christ conscious one. Along that stage, you were crucified because you went through some hell. Yeah, you went through a lot of hell in your physical reality. But you kept on going. You kept on going. You carried the cross. And you got tired. You got tired thinking that you was just a little G come to God. You got tired of experiencing maybe the same thing in the physical reality. And you dare to transform your energy. You dare to be different. You dare to tap into the power within. And so you decided, Christ conscious one, that you was going to give something up. That you was going to make a sacrifice. That the old me must die. Because I want to be born again. And so you decided that you were going to be born again based upon renewing your mind. You decided that you was going to let this mind be in you. <laughs> you decided that you was going to be crucified. Yeah. And after you got crucified from the old way that you was doing it, you know the conscious way that you was doing it. You know, the old contract kind of way that you was doing it. The Old Testament kind of way that you was doing it. You renewed your mind and you went over to the, to the new contract. 
to the New Testament. You healed your trauma. You were just like, you know what? The greatest of the commandments of all is that you just love. Because love is the highest frequency of all. So, so you just decide to transform your energy. Increase your frequency to love. You decide to step out of the conscious into the subconscious. You decided to think new thoughts. You decided that you was going to pay attention to the scripture that said, Finally, my brother, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are lovely, if there be any virtue in them, think on these things. Yeah, you, the Christ conscious one, you did that. And guess what happened? You wrestle with God. <laughs> you sing God face to face. And you lived. Because you were resurrected again. <laughs> you were resurrected. All because of the renewing of your mind. And then you found out that what they meant in that text when they was telling you over and over. But that the kingdom of God was in you. They hid it in you. You finally realized what they were saying when they, when they said in the parable, if somebody tell you, Lord God is here or he is there, don't go. Why not go? Because guess what? All eyes shall see him. Well, what they mean about the all eyes? They must have meant, oh, not, not my physical eye will see my change. But my first eye, my renewing of my mind, once I open up my pineal gland, once I open up my third eye, oh, all of my eyes go see the God in me. Oh. That's what I think about Jesus. I think you powerful, Jesus. I, I don't look outside of you for a savior because I, I feel like you you are your savior, Jesus. I feel like you, you just waiting for your kingdom to come. Just you. <laughs> because you have your kingdom over there and I have my kingdom over here. And then everybody else up in them comments, they got their kingdom over there. See, you are God on your throne and your kingdom over there. And sometimes based upon your frequency, if you are vibrating or you on my frequency or you, or you, or you need a little help maybe or assistance via your thoughts from your stemming from your subconscious mind, sometimes we'll meet, you know, like on a TikTok or something like that there. We'll meet in common ground or we'll meet in a store and you look at me as a stranger and you'll be like, you, 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 do I know you? You feel familiar. No, you, you had thought me up. You thought me up to remind you. And then I'll start talking to you as a stranger and I'll tell you something that'll inspire you as a stranger and, and, and see, because you needed me in your kingdom at that time. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think about your kingdom. And that's what I think about Jesus. That's what I think about Buddha. That's what I think about Krishna. That's what I think about Thoth. That's what I think about the Anunnaki. That's what I think about the Seven Day Adventists. That's what I think about the Hebrew Israelites. I think that they all the Christ conscious one. Because if you research them all, and I've done it, you study them all, they all going to bring you back to you. To know thyself. Because to know thyself is to know God. And if a religion or, or, or state of being don't bring you back to you, I think it's time to get up out of there because you are all that exists. I think it's some bull crap that they try to manipulate you because you are all that exists. Because remember, even in your biblical text that teach you about the Jesus that you think outside of you, it'll tell you there is one God. One faith, one baptism. So therefore, there's an illusion of separation that we separate ourselves from God when we are expressions of God. We're all of the same source. One consciousness. When you roll up the blacks and the white, they get into one. When you roll up the yin and the yang, it's one. When you roll up the, the atheist versus relig religious, it's one. The darkness and the light, one. Good versus evil, one. One. It's God. 
So that means the camera God, the, 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 the alchemist God, the, the spoon God, the chair God, my shirt God, because God is all that exists. It's energy. Going back to the atom. This is nothing but energy, frequency, and vibration. And it's all vibrating at different frequencies, but it's all God. So that means the government that you think probably out to get you, it's God. The, the CDC, the, the all of it is God. Because even the so-called bad that you see is perfectly orchestrated for your becoming. To get you to leave off. To get you back to you realizing that you, Jesus, you, the Christ conscious one, don't sleep on Jesus, baby. Don't sleep on Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let me see if I caught anything. And the story repeats itself in every book of life. It's all about you. Yes, it is. Be not, you know that. Be not, know it. Grateful, know it. And so, so it's no, it's nothing wrong with where you, wrong with where you are with that knowing. Maybe you just only believe right now. When you get in your spiritual journey where you know, <laughs> things change. Things change and you tap into your power when you know that. Wait, hold up. There's something about me. I have some power within me. Wait, hold up. I was just thinking that and that thing just happened. Wait, 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 hold up. Did I create that? Am I a creator creating? Wait, wait, hold up. Grandma and great grandma didn't have nobody to crack the sky for them, but wait, hold up. Maybe nobody gonna crack the sky for me. Maybe I gotta save myself. Maybe I'm the one that's supposed to break the ignorance of the generational curse of a believing in things outside of me instead of knowing me. <laughs> know thyself. Yeah. Come on through, goddess. <laughs> hey, goddess. Thank you for being here, babe. Yeah, I say. Truth. Yeah. Hey, Emmanuel. I love that name. Emmanuel. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful explanation of how we become and are. My God. This has me, has blessed me. Oh, I'm grateful. That's another grateful one. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's grace. Graceful. Okay. I see it. It's grayed out a little bit. I am Christ because Christ is in me. Yeah. Yes. You are so right. Come on through God. Is y'all funny like we have a church up in here? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. You better name them all. <laughs> it don't matter which, which name they give them. Because, because guess what? It go back to this here. In the parable. Y'all know I'm com I come from church. Uh, so I, I remember this stuff like it was yesterday. In the parable they said, Who do men say I am? Well, some say, you, you know, you're John the Baptist. Some say, you know, you this, you that. But who do you, this is what it comes back to. Who do you say I am? Yeah. So you could, you could ask, and it's a beautiful question. You could ask, well, what do you think about Jesus? And I just shared what I know about Jesus because I know based upon where I am. But the real question is, who do you say Jesus is? See, that's really the thing that's going to dictate what's going on in your reality is whether you believe or you know. Knowing is where you want to get. Religion often will teach you how to believe. But do you, do you believe and constantly believe for eons and eons without knowing and expect to evolve in life? You got to know. And I remember when I was in church, they used to say, you got to know that you know that you know that you know. It's time to get to know me. Who do you say I am? And that's when you know yourself, really. <laughs> yeah. The law of oneness, universal law, number one. There's only one. It's an illusion of separation. Only one. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you for the life. Love it. We woke. Yeah, we woke. Woke. Come on and teach today. I love you. Oh, I love you back, babe. I asked for a word for my birthday, and here you are. So thankful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, today your birthday. Well, happy Earth Day to you, B Dot. Happy birthday. Y'all tell B Dot happy birthday up in here. Happy Earth Day. One of my supporters. 
So as a man think it, so is he. Yes. Yes. That what is that? Uh C A Ruth? Yeah. Yeah, as a man think it, so is he. So that's what, how it's going to pertain to, to your environment, your kingdom. As you think in your kingdom, so is you, he or she. And so your reflections in your kingdom, you're manipulating the energy of your reflections in your kingdom because you have a in um, habitual thought of how you think they're going to respond to you. <laughs> so if you think... Uh, she doesn't like me, then they have to conform to the way that you think. As a man think it, so is he. Because remember, you're all that exists. So when you think, oh man, I knew that wasn't going to work out. Well, so shall it be. Oh, I knew this relationship wasn't going to work. Oh, how you knew? How you knew? <laughs> you, you didn't just believe. That's a strong thing for you to know. Oh, I knew it was. Well, guess what, God? You created that. That's how you knew. Because you knew that your thought was powerful. Because you knew yourself. You knew your thoughts. <laughs> and so that's why it's good to look at people through the eyes of God. And to see the good in the people. And to think positive outcomes. And to get to a place that you know all oh, things are working out for me. I can't get to sing cold life wrong. All I'm doing is learning. Oh, okay, okay. I understand that there's a low polarity. It's going to be two sides. I'm going to be learning. And then sometimes I'm going to feel like I'm learning the hard way or if so much of bad is happening to me. But all I got to do is change my thoughts because if they have bad over there, they got to have some good over here. And so I'm going to just think about the good stuff because if I give energy to the good stuff, then I get more good stuff because the blessings of God are gay and amen. And it goes according to how I feel. So I feel that I'm in a good place mentally. I use my human imagination that even if I'm in a rut or I think the so-called government or the FDC and, and the LGBTT and I don't even know all the little letters that we all come up with in the physical reality is out to get me. You know, they're trying to kill us, some of us to say. Who is they when you are all? You're all that exists. Who is the they? Every death actually is suicide if you really want to get real with it, God. Because that person thought that up. And sometimes we think up so much fear and that which I feared the most. That's I think that was Job. He said, that which I feared the most has come upon me. How is that, God? Because you created it with your fearful thoughts. <laughs> it's as simple as that. As simple as that, thought by thought. So even, even when you check out in this physical realm, you thought that thing up. You thought that thing up for the fear of death. I don't know what it was. Maybe you was feared that the gangbangers was going to get you. Maybe you was feared that you was going to go out with that sickness. Maybe it was a fear of somebody's going to come in and, 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 and shoot you or something. But you thought that up. And you kept thinking that up. And you gave energy to that thought. And the path of least resistance for you was for you to be, or that person to be, in the non-physical. That's how this thing is working. And when in church, we'll be like, well, if it's God willing, but you the God. <laughs> but you the God, though. And the only time it's willing, this divine timing, is when you get in alignment with the things that you want. That's when it manifests. When you don't have no resistance, no fear, when you just go on with flow and you just experiencing life by carrying that thing with you and that you believe that thing is part of you and that you vibing on the frequency of that thing, that's divine timing. That's when God's willing. When you're willing to change your mind or to change your situation. You don't think that when I was in New Orleans, Louisiana, experiencing hurricane after hurricane, that I was sitting there thinking about more? You think I was doing that? No, I couldn't have been thinking that. I couldn't have been thinking that. Because if I was thinking that when I was rebuilding that home from damn near the tenth time, if I was thinking that for that last hurricane Ida that came, then I'd still be there. No, I wasn't thinking that. When I was rebuilding that home, I would say, oh, this is the last time. When I was painting that fence, I was like, oh, I ain't, I ain't even going to have this kind of fence no more because I want like a cement 
cement column to to have my property protected by. I ain't gonna have a fence. I ain't gonna never have to pay no fence no more. You know when when I was over there and then the roof got peeled off. Yeah, when it got peeled off and I was up in the kitchen trying to clean up. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about these cabinets right here. Yeah, I was smelling them and I was touching them when I was cleaning up them other cabinets. I was touching these in my mind. Yeah, because as a man thinking, so is he. And we have the power to draw things to us when we lift ourselves up and stay in a good frequency and, 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 and have a controlled imagination and ability to focus. I was focused on this. I was focused on how these things was going to smell. These was, I, I thought this up. I thought this tile up. I thought this kitchen up. And when I came to this state of Arizona and I walked in a floor plan, because my house wasn't even built yet. It was waiting for me to just come and find the street because I thought the name of the street up too. I can't tell you the name of the street, but I thought the name of the street is so me. I thought that up too. But when I walked up in the one model that they had, I said, oh, I know this place. I recognize this place. Feels because I had already been in my feeling, feeling how this would be the touch it tastes, smell it experiences in my human imagination. So when I walked in, I was like, "This feels familiar." I told the realist, "I said this, this is it." I was, I would just walk in the the door, the thrust of the door, and I was like, "This is it." We had to see so many homes. And I some of them, I, I opened up the door to get out the car. I was like, oh, come on, could you get back in your car? Because cause I know it. I know it. I don't even, don't even let, we don't even have to go inside of this. Because I know this ain't it. It don't feel like it. I know what I've been manifesting and creating. I know. You see, I don't believe. I know. I will know it when I. Feel it. I don't believe that God got a house for me. I know what my house feel like. Because I've already been in that thing. I already created that thing up in here. Because when I walked in there, and she, and she laughed. She laughed. I said, this is it. I walked in. This is it. She's like, get your silly self. She's a little Caucasian lady. Good, good, good. Beautiful spirit. I attracted her too. And, and she was she was conscious too. And she was like, get your silly self in here. How do you know? You you never came in here. You didn't even see it yet. Because you got this big old wall. You can't really see how it's an open floor pad. I said, no. That's it. I know. You know, you know. And I was just ready. I got excited. I said, no, but I know. And then I turned the corner and I saw the kitchen area. And I was like, whoo! Yeah, that is it. And guess what? She said, oh, well, you might want to, we might want to let the builders know as soon as possible because this is the last one. I said, I know. It's mine. <laughs> it was waiting on me to show up. See, that's when you know. Instead of believe. You just know. I'm trying to get your mind there. Expand your mind to get to the places in life where you know because you created it through thought and you experienced that thing. And anybody, if anybody was to tell me no when I know, I'd be like, uh-uh, it can't be. It's impossible. I wouldn't bow down when I know. Because you know. You know. So know that you are the Christ. Know that you are a creator, creating. Know that you are a manifester, manifesting. Because you've already been crucified and you resurrected again. And now you ain't believing. You know. You just know. Some things you just know. Matter of fact, they was, they was trying to give me all a hard time or whatever in the clothes. And I don't know what was going on with the clothes. And I, maybe, maybe, maybe the chaos, you know, the, the chaos was trying to get me to act like I didn't know. Maybe I was testing myself with my thoughts and my ability to stay focused, even though maybe, maybe I was creating another scene, kind of like Peter when he went to go walk on the water. Maybe I was playing like I was going to pay attention to the waves and the currents around me and not focus and stand still and know that I can walk on this water. I don't know, but guess what? They tried to play with me and I told them, I said, you know what? Deny me. That's what I want you to do. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, 
no, you said you manifested this. I thought you really liked it. I thought you said you knew. I said, I do know. <laughs> I do know, but since they acting crazy over there, I'm going to show them how much I know. Deny me. Because I knew if I get denied, then, 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 then I'll get my deposit that I put down. I put down so much. And they were asking me about some, some, some silly stuff. I had all my ducks in a row. Everything was perfect. It should have been flow. But they was playing games seemingly to, to release everything for closing. I said, you know what? Just go ahead on and deny me. Because guess what? I know that all things are working out for me. And as soon as I said that, a.k.a. releasing all resistance, because you got to be able to, re to release resistance, to surrender, and to know that you carry that thing with you. you gotta got to be so caught up into the fact that you are manifesting, manifesting, and God darn it, it's right here. Even if I don't feel it right here, God darn it, it's right here. And I know that it's right here. I seen it. I wrestled with God. I wrestled with God face to face. And I said, I will not let go until you bless me. When you get to that place of knowing, you're going to arrive. They could tell you all kind of stuff in closing that. Oh, no, well, you know, there's a penny that you owe from 1977 and you ain't paid that. Look, deny me. Because I know. And then as soon as I said that, everything just worked out. You're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Everybody, y'all get y'all stuff together. This lady, she knows. <laughs> she don't believe. She knows. Oh, we sorry about that, Miss Rie. We sorry. What what could we do? Matter of fact, we gon' we gon' give you some of this here money back and apply it over there because you knew. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened when you know. Gotta get there, and that's within you, the power within you, because you know. Yeah. Oh, Lord, y'all got me preaching up in here. Let's see. Let's see. Let me read these comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Come on now. <laughs> I know that I know. Yes, that's so beautiful. The best kept. Yeah, I think the prophets are us at different paths and times of life. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that too. I believe that too. Happy soul return. See, they telling you happy birthday up in here. That's beautiful. 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 Oh, look, okay. You happy God. He said happy, happy birthday. He said thanks. Oh, look at somebody singing happy birthday to you. Orange. Huh? Lessons on lessons. Blessings on blessings. Oneness. I like that. I like that. Seeing people like you lets me know I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thoughts create your reality. So true. One who thinks. They'll succeed and one who thinks they'll fall, they'll fail, are both right. Yeah, both I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> you better teach today. We need you as a guest in our class. That's beautiful. I love to join. You know, I used to sit on church panels all the time as guests and speakers and stuff. I traveled a lot. I haven't been doing it lately out here, but I've traveled a lot. Um even to New York, I went out to Columbia University, and um, it was a science event that they had talking about energy frequency. I like to relay whatever the message is, whatever, whatever the audience is, and give the message toward it to meet people where they are. You know, like how I was talking about in, in energy with the utility company, I would relate it to them as far as energy frequency and vibration. And I like really sim making the spiritual talk about energy because we all like right here they got people on here hey tanisha they got people on here that's coming from all kind of religious walks they are, they're coming from all religious walk and the one the, what they call them the jehovah witness they think they're 144,000. you know they you know the seven day Adventists, they think they the one the hebrew israelites they think it is time to flip over and do stuff to the white people and all this and that and the third but we could all meet together in a common place when we just talking about energy frequency and vibration everybody understand that language and then they bring us back to our oneness it really does it really brings us back to the oneness because religion has a way of separating and dividing us all when the division is an illusion. 
because it's just one. So if I talk about energy, you know, nobody in the no, people don't be yeah, but but the Shad Shadrach gonna get you. No, Thor gonna get you because Thor was Jesus, and you don't know what you're talking about. Well, what happened? What happened in Egypt? On like what? We talking about energy? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just easier that way. So that's how I like to talk. Imagination is is everything. Yeah, and so in imagination and ability and focus, everybody have that. Everybody can conjure that up if they want to, you know. And so imagination in the biblical text is teaching you that this thing, this spiritual walk is about imagination. When the parable says, unless he come as a child, he can't make it to the kingdom. Suffer the children and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of God. That's what, what the parable really say. But everybody don't, don't have eyes to hear. They don't have ears to to hear, I'm sorry, eyes to see and ears to hear. But that's what the biblical text is really talking about. Renew is all about mind. It's all mentalism. <laughs> it's all symbolic of you renewing that mind and thinking different thoughts. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, you must know. Yeah. Hey, 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 how you doing? Hey, Coach Renee, thank you for being here. I'm so happy you're here. Hey, Sad said. I have this lady, Sassy Jones, my mama shop with Sassy Jones. That's just what I taught about Sassy Jones. My mom be spending so much money with some, some, if you Sassy, if that's your real name. <laughs> Sassy Jones got some nice stuff because my mama buys it all the time. You might like it too because her name be on all kinds of things. All her, per, her merchandise. Yes, sir. Yeah. Belief can be conditional, but knowing is definite. Yes, it is. That's the difference between the two. You don't spend your time just believing. See, I used to be a believer, and that's what they call themselves in religion. And I'm not, I'm not trying to knock somebody from religion. Because let me tell you, my mama minister, my my auntie a pastor, my brother was a drummer. You know, everybody in the family, my uncle that was a pastor. Everybody in my family in church now, and they be on my life. So I'm not trying to be ugly with the church people here in church. And my mama church friends to be on my life too, and be telling my mama that I said such and such. I get it. My mama tell me, if you here today trying to tell on me, I'm grown, yay. <laughs> Let me say that. I'm grown, yay. But my mama tell me that, yeah, I said that. I said that because in when I came up in church, that's what I was taught. And I'm daring to do and be something different. I'm evolving in my journey. And so in church, they taught me to only believe. And I got popped upside my head. If it wasn't for my mom, it was from somebody else that I was related to. Because if my mom wasn't around, everybody thought to think about me. <laughs> so I spent my life already believing. I was a believer. I was a strong believer. I was a prayer warrior. I was rebuking and talking in tongues and all of this stuff here. I started off real, real early with that believing. But I've now gotten to the place where I know. I done rightly divided the word of truth. Line upon line, precept upon precept. I knew. I now know. And I'm not just thinking or doing something good growing them did or because I'll get bopped upside the head. These are the things that I know. And I'm, I'm passing on what I know. But in the biblical text, it says, fools despise wisdom. It also says, Broad is that way that, that leads to destruction and many will go. Narrow is the path that leads to eternal life, but few will find it. Because you know what it really boils down to? It's simplicity. We want to do and make things so hard, but it's the simplicity. In Revelation, they say, I'll take the foolish things to confound the wise. Yeah. Like, wait, wait, hold up. You think, you're telling me all I got to do is just think and feel better and create an imaginary scene in my mind and do it as often as I can. And then when I'm not doing it, have a positive outlook on life. And don't fake it, but just turn into this person and become this person. You saying that if I do that, then everything else is going to start working out for me. The things that I'm really worried the most about. 
Yeah. Yeah. You saying I'm going to enjoy my journey better? Yeah. So you saying joy is the key? Yeah. And I'm saying this to you because I once thought people out there was out to get me. I once experienced this ease and this harmony in my physical body. I once was the Debbie Downer. I once was the person that had mental fatigue. I was the person that asked why one day. Why me? Why am I going through so much hell? And then one day I came the person that said, you know what? I'm going to try something different. And so because I came in in life with a bunch of believers, they told me I was a backsider. I was going to go to hell. And I was like, well, look, look, I'm 17 years old now. And I'm, what I'm going to lay up here and do is I'm going to go get me an apartment so I don't get popped upside the head for doing it my way. And I'm going to do it my way. And so this hell thing that you're telling me about, I don't care about that no more because I honestly feel like I've already been through hell. And so if I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to take one for the team because I got to go on the side. I got to figure this thing out. Right, because when I was a little girl, all I did was sort of adults just get in the Holy Ghost healing and deliver, Holy Ghost healing and deliverance um, line after the pastor or the apostle came through, and they all had the same thing. They were just rinsing and repeating. I heard them because I was ushered, you know, in church. I heard them and I was listening because I, I wanted to know why every every time we go to church, they had so many sick people and why they, all of these sick people had one thing in common that they were believers who just believed and just loved God with all of their heart. But yet they went through so much hell. So when the hell and the sickness came to me, I was like, how dare God? How dare God give me a turn? And as a little girl, I didn't even go. I didn't even go to the little pep rallies. I didn't go get to go outside. And every religion my mama went through, I had to go with her and do and follow God the way she followed God. And I had to wear skirts in the cold. And I had to do this and that in the dirt. Third, I couldn't have a boyfriend. I go walk to the corner store. My mama think I'm going with a guy because I was curvaceous. It wasn't my fault that I was shaped the way that I was shaped. And I go to the corner store. I'm in trouble because I was going too long because my mom was overprotective. And then now I'm experiencing sickness and disease in my physical body. And now I need a healing. And I spent all of my time in church. I was an usher. I was a camera girl. I was a pastor's assistant. I was in the choir. I was at Bible study. I go to school. I come home, do my homework. Then I'm in the Bible again. Then I was in the choir. And everything was church, church, church. Of course I was a believer. But how dare God, because this is where my mom was at at that time, bring me to hell. When I never even had a chance to be a little girl. Because I had to go to church. I had to be a believer. How dare God do this. So now you, you're going to call me a backsider? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and slide my ace up out of here. I'm going to get me a little house. I'm going to get me a little apartment. And then I'm going to take a break from this church stuff. Because I got to figure I gotta figure out my journey alone. Yeah, I got to separate myself from you. Yeah. Yeah, what? You, what, what I do? Voodoo. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to go see what the witches is, is doing over there. I'm going to go figure out this little dark magic over there if that's what I got to do. Because I'm going to hell already, and, you, know, the, you know, the devil after me already. So let me take one for the team. And if I'm going to go to hell, I want to go to hell knowing what hell going to be about. So I want to learn about this dark magic. I want to do everything that y'all was scared to do. Y'all call this here thing the devil and this and that dirt. Let me go find Cause see, see, when, when when we're watching football and all in the other team, when we were preparing to play another team, you watch them, you study their plays, you figure out what, what you know who's the best player, who who's who's the receiver and running back and all this and that. And third. Well, guess what? If I'm gonna go to hell, I needed to know. These devils out here seem like they excelling. So what is they doing right? When church folk up in here going in the, in the line every Sunday. Hmm. So I don't eat like them. I don't want to think like them. I don't want to focus on things that they focusing on. I'm going to do everything to them church folk. I don't want to believe like them. Born of the days where I won't believe. I won't know. So I went down that journey of getting to know myself. And I discovered the greatest thing. 
Just like the biblical text tell you, but when you don't have an ear, you, you miss this one. I'm going to tell you with the biblical text, those that is still in that religious state of mind, the biblical text tell you loud and clear, ye are gods. And so now I know. <laughs> I don't just read that and be like, wait, is this a, is this a typo? Oh, I'm just a little G kind of dog. No, 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 no. He don't say, he don't say big G, little G. It just simply say, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. Of the collective consciousness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Borley. Thank you for being here. Hey, Cup C, a Cup Sweet. That's a beautiful name. Let's see. Listen to her. God is, says, yeah. Oh, I got a lot of comments up in here. I'm sorry about that. Okay, it says, thanks for the follow. Thanks for being here. Everything I teach. Just listen. Told you so beautiful. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking to each other. Y'all know each other over there. Okay. Love the way you think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As a man thinking, so is he. Yeah. Love the way you think. Okay. Okay. Come on. I love her. I love you back, babe. Right. Yeah, unwavering, unwavering. Yeah, you got to be unwavering with it because also in the same text, a double-minded person is unstable in all of his ways. <laughs> mm -mm, you got to know. You know that belief? No. Yeah, I love you, your spirit. I got to get to that place. Yeah, Mr. Lab. Hey, hey, Mo Wheeler. <laughs> yeah, the power within. Yeah, the power within orange, the power within transformation course available on my website. The coupon code is I am ready. When you get ready, type in that coupon code to get you the best discount possible for the course. So you could get to know yourself. That's what the course is all about. It's about you meeting you, you facing you, you facing your physical and you facing your spiritual. I'm talking about the inner child inside of you. What you putting in your mind, your habitual thinking. And this ain't about just food and herbs and for the healing. I talk about that, how to heal your organs and all that because, because your body, your, you know, your gut and your brain are intertwined and connected. All things are connected. But what I'm getting you to do <laughs> is tap into the Christ conscious self in the course. That's why it's called the power within. We're going to get to that inner child. We're going to get to them old thoughts that you're constantly thinking the stumbling blocks in your journey, making you remember <laughs> stuff that you've already played out versus remembering that you got and that you're your savior for your own self. Yeah, the power within you. Okay, okay, let me move on. Let's say thank you. You're welcome. I need to hear this. I understand what happens when you know. Yeah, if you're ever back in New York City, I'll be there. Oh, Vida, you from New York? Yeah. I need to start traveling again. I will. I just was kind of getting, you know, situated with all of my properties and stuff because I, um, I still have property and stuff in New Orleans. So once I get that taken care of, I start traveling and speaking and stuff. And I keep you posted. I didn't know you was from New York. New York is a cool place to live. I mean, to, to be, to travel to, not to live. I don't like the subway part of the walk in the underground part because I like cars, but it's a cool place to travel. I enjoy my stay. Yeah. The people in New York remind me of the people in New Orleans too, you know, kind of like, I guess the way that they talk and stuff. So it felt like I was, fam you know, familiar with family and I love the people that's just, you know, the people that sing and, you know, play the drums and stuff at the subways and stuff. But it was just the car thing. I need a car. I need to be able to get in the car. And, and I want my car to be in my driveway. I don't know. It, it, New Orleans must have spoiled me. But I just, the subway thing was like, mm. <laughs> I'm going to inbox you. It's a chakra class. I love energy. And you know, you will get a love offering. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, you must mean I love your energy maybe. Or you love energy from chakra energies. Okay. Let me know. My email is on my website uh, and in my profile, in my bio, sort of the earth pub at gmail.com is my email. But yeah, let me know. I love to do that. I love to. Yeah. 
Yeah, be weaned from the uh, milk. But yeah, sometimes we're still babes in Christ, so to speak. Yeah, I was led to your page. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, Matic 178. You are so welcome. You are so welcome, Sassy. Yeah. Okay, somebody's saying, hey. Hey, Duke. How you doing, babe? Mm -hmm. She is love. <laughs> We're different now. Yeah, by the renewing of the mind. By the renewing of the mind. Our eyes are being opened. It's an awakening. And it's the age. So in the biblical text, when they're talking about um, when the disciples are asking the Christ conscious one in this particular parable, they're saying, when will be the, the sign or the time of thy coming? The season or the time of thy coming? Right? But a lot of times the church people look at that as if they're talking about a person that's going to come back because they're thinking outside of themselves that's going to come back and crack the sky. But no, they're talking about an age. They're talking about a moment in time because like, like it says, there's nothing new under the sun. Like we've always existed. We always was. So there's seasons. If you know anything about the law of rhythm or the age of Aquarius, the season that this consciousness and awakening happens is now. So, so people that have been in the sleep or dormant mode, so to speak, or waking up, and they'll call it being woke, being conscious. But it was the season. All of this here is already pre-orchestrated already. So it's the season of you remembering or you getting to know thyself all over again. Because we already had a season of us going in the so-called great sleep that the biblical text speaks of, like, right? The great sleep, or they'll say the time when, you know, we got cursed, so to speak. It, it seems like it's a curse because we're going through hell during that season because we're ignorant to the knowledge of self, right? But anything, anytime you have something that's falling down, did that mean it was up there already? So now, being that we're in this age or this season, it's a season of awakening. So people are becoming more health conscious. The, you think the government, so to speak, and the FDC and the CDC and all of these people who are outside of you, you think, oh, they're messing with the food, they're doing this. No, all of that is purposeful too because some of the people in the physical reality have to have that to push them to get away from the things that are stumbling blocks in their journey, keeping them on low frequency for them to dare to do something different like Eat some darn fruit, drink some darn coconut water, electrify their body, and remember that they are the light bodies in an effort to ignite their light or their fire once again because you are the light of the world. And so to light that fire once again and evolve that to source. Or guess what? Or remember who you are. It's the same difference. It's you on a journey. You was on a journey forgetting yourself. Now you're on a journey remembering yourself. And we do this over and over. In and out. Up and down. Yin and yang. Good and bad. Polarities. But all of it is God. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. In church. And believe me. Now I know. There you go. Now you know. You better be my reflection today, telling my story of church. Oh, okay, you had a, a um story just like that, huh? Just be, yeah. <laughs> all of our story. You right about that. All of ours, Duke. Because guess what? That story is so familiar with a lot of us. Maybe I was some. I was in church a lot. Maybe the pastor's children was in a little bit more than me, because my mom wasn't a direct pastor. But maybe they, they story was a little bit more than mine, more intense than mine, you know. But we all was there and we all played a role because we were all at a place in our journey. We were forgetting because we were just told just to believe. Now we're remembering and we're, I'm telling you to get to know. Yeah, you'll be added unto you. You're right about that. Come on now. <laughs> Same here. There you go. Oh my gosh, I got enlightened at 17 too. See, yeah, look, that go another reflection. Another reflection, be that. 
Yeah, something had to change, definitely. Because you get tired of doing the same thing. That's the recipe for being insane. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. Expecting change. So that's why I say, in any time you're evolving in life, you got to have a sacrifice. What you going to give up? Mm -hmm. And so for me, just coming on this journey, I just really wanted to just walk away and find out what health and wellness was. But I had to give up something first. I had to give up the way that I was eating first to get on this other side. You're going to have to sacrifice something. Even if, even if you go on a simple diet, guess what? You're going to have to sacrifice that, that size 16 that's in your closet because you ain't going to be able to wear them no more. You're going to have to give that up if you're trying to get into a size 8. But you're going to sacrifice, though. This is what symbolic in the biblical text. We remember they have, had these sacrificial offerings that they talked about all across the board in the biblical text. Yeah, because that represented you're going to give something up here. Or you're going to die some kind of way. A part of you going to die. But another part of you at the same time, since we're dealing with the laws of polarity, be two sides, another part of you is going to rise from the dead and be resurrected again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is beautiful. Right. Yeah. Made you mad, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, we go through some things. It's all purposeful, though. It's all for the greater good, though. How you doing, Linda? Thank you for joining me on my health page. I'm on both of my pages right now. Yeah, mine is the church, but surrounded by believers. This is a word for me. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of strong believers believing, <laughs> believing, because they were pretty much we were pretty much programmed to just believe, only believe. Remember that church song? You just got to believe all things are possible if you only believe. Yeah, well, guess what? When you know, <laughs> you on a whole nother level. For some believers, all things ain't possible because some of the believers, they'll, they'll say, they'll say, um, uh, well, I thought, you know, I had the faith, but, you know, God must not have been willing, you know, <laughs> you know, he must have not have been God's will this time. And that's another thing, too. If you think about it, now in religion, being that you believing, being that you believing that Jesus going to fix it, you believing that Buddha or Krishna or whoever going to fix it, you take yourself off the hook is what you're doing. So it don't come full circle because when you become conscious and that thing don't work, you know it didn't work because of you. You hold yourself accountable. You know, wait, I was not in alignment for that thing. Let me, let me, let me go in. Let me renew my mind. This will work. Because I'm facing myself in my trauma state again. Maybe I ain't healed all the traumatic stuff that happened when I was a little girl. Because life happens through me when I'm conscious. I, I know that life is happening through me. So if I keep on running into a narc, I can't say the devil brought him over here. Or maybe God just want me to be with narcs if I'm conscious. When I'm conscious and I walk into people like that, I got to be accountable and be like, oh my God, I must be still vibrating on the unworthy frequency. <laughs> so now with your knowing of self, you got to become accountable of the expressions of yourself that you're interacting with in your physical reality because they you. They came to show you you. The part of you that you don't see. Because it's hidden from you. It's in your subconscious mind. So as within, so without, so what's in that subconscious mind, you got to meet. Like, oh, why I keep walking into narcs? Oh, 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 you want to know why? Because you and your subconscious mind don't feel worthy. That's why. And so we're going to keep on showing you because we're going to keep on giving you narcs. Until you get up in there and do the inner work and really get to know thyself, that's where the power within transformation course comes in with self-concepts. We're rewriting that story with that inner little girl and little boy work that really needs to be done. So at a subconscious level, you penetrate through that subconscious mind and create a new signal, a new word, like they say in the biblical text, that does not come back to you void. <laughs> it'll go out 
and do what you sent it to do because now you're walking around feeling worthy. So all good and perfect gifts got to come to you because you're sending out a worthy signal. Now you walk around in the abundance frequency. So you got to receive abundance because you acting like you got abundance already in your subconscious mind. That's your signal. So if you pay attention to it in life, everybody is getting what they want. And, you know, we'll have people on TikTok and they'll be like, oh, I feel so sorry. She didn't deserve that. And I don't want to sound insensitive, but. On a subconscious level, everybody is getting what they want because they're asking and they are receiving. They're asking through thought and they're receiving in their physical reality what they're thinking. And yeah, it sounds like, oh, that's not fair. But at that state of being, these people are unconscious because it's a subconscious thing. They're unconscious that they're constantly asking for that. See, when I was sick, when I was experiencing disease, when I couldn't breathe, now I better understand that I was asking for that. Well, how was she asking? Don't you say that about yourself. You're being too hard on yourself. No, 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 baby. Let me tell you, I was asking for that. Yeah, I was asking for that subconsciously because on with, with other people outside, I mean, I know I was a little girl, but what other people outside of me didn't see was the fact that I had little girl issues. Yeah. I had I had little girl issues because I, I didn't feel lovable. Yeah, because my mom and my dad, they got divorced at five years old. And so I didn't feel lovable. So I decided that I wasn't going to love nobody. I'm holding on to this here heart and ain't nobody getting it. Leave me alone. I ain't talking to nothing. What? what? I'm supposed to travel around the world. They will prophesy to me since I was in religion all the time. They will prophesy to me. Apostles and evangelists and this and that and third will prophesy to me telling me that I was going to be a speaker and this and that and third. I was like, you know what? I'm, I got something for y'all, all y'all. I ain't saying nothing. Because I don't want to talk to them people. I would tell my mom all the time, look, 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 don't. I don't want to be like you when I grow up. I don't want to be like my auntie, all them, these pastors and stuff. I don't want to be in the church. I don't have nothing to tell no church people. I don't. I don't want to be no pastor. I don't want to deliver no word. I ain't got no message for nobody. Leave me alone. So at the same time, I was asking. Because I ain't want love. I wanted a whole lot of my energy. Yeah. And the, and the weekend visits with, with daddy was no more. So I didn't feel like. I felt like, well, shoot, I'm, I'm five years old. My daddy left. And then a couple of years later, he stopped coming on weekends. What am I here for? I don't feel loved. Nobody loves me. I just shut up. My voice doesn't need to be heard. Nobody wants to hear me. I don't feel worthy to speak. Worthy to talk to no people. So I became stagnated with my energy. And I decided not to talk. Not to love. And guess what happened? That, that was what was going on spiritually because I was asking for it spiritually. I was asking, hey, block up these chakra pools of energy. Block up my heart chakra now. I said, I don't want to use it. Block it up. Block up my throat, my expression, my ability to speak my truth. Block it up. That's, that's what I was asking for spiritually because we always asking through thought. Through habitual thinking. So I was thinking of a scheme so I didn't have to be a pastor. I was thinking of a scheme so I'd never get my feelings hurt no more. Because daddy was gone and he was supposed to be my first love. So I thought. So I ain't going to love nobody. Spiritually, I was asking. Asking you shall receive. So guess what? Now I got thyroid issues. Yeah. Now I have thyroid issues because I was asking. I ain't going to talk. Yeah, now my heart beating all fast. Now, now I'm passing out when, when, when I'm taking just a regular shower. Yay. Now, now I got vertigo. Yay. Because I asked for that. You people don't want to accept this here part because you got to be accountable for yourself. That's why a lot of people want to hold on to the religion and they want to blame Jesus for it. They say, oh, it must not have been the Father's will. Or they want to be blaming the devil. Oh, the devil had made me do it. But no, no, I made me do that. I was asking. I don't want this heart to be loving nobody with the fear of getting it broke again. I don't want to be talking to nobody, feeling unworthy. And it wasn't until I began to love on myself by feeding myself 
the fruits and changing my diet and spending time with myself and getting to, to know myself. This was equivalent to me. <laughs> Filling up my cup. This was equivalent to me getting to know myself and love and understanding myself because love is understanding. And so when you do these things, you work on your inner being, you have no choice but to open up your chakra pools of energy and stumble upon the greatest thing that was never told to you, that you're God. And you are your own savior. Waiting for the day that you decide to save yourself. Nobody else. You gotta save you. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. Hmm. And look how God showed out for you. Definitely, definitely. Oh, thank you for the heart, that's so pretty. Thank you, thank you. Hey, June. Thank you for being here, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, me, Dottie. He said, I can't even type uh, straight. I, I got you, babe. Yes, it does. I apologize. I'm just inviting everyone I know. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It's, it's a beautiful thing. All powerful words. Indeed, God is. Don't ever apologize. We love shares. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's no problem. It's no problem. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you. I appreciate Age of Aquarius. That's what I'm talking about. The Age of Aquarius. See, y'all know about this here. Some of these people already know about this here. So some of these people already done got to know what they sell. If you know anything about the Age of Aqu Aquarius, you know that your kingdom has come. <laughs> you know that it's time for... Why am I thinking like this? Why do I feel like I don't even want to want to hear that? I want to know something. I don't want to just be a believer. I want to know why my diet's changing. Why am I thinking like this? Why am I sitting here? I never used to sit here and watch these conscious people. Why am I, why am I still here listening to this lady today? Because you in that peak season. <laughs> you in that age. Where it's time for you to renew your mind. Yeah, you already wrote this thing up for your story. You know in physical form when your season or you in your time to reign was going to be God. That's just it. Because you know everything. Everything is already inside of you. If the eye be single, oh yeah, babe. If your eye be single, your whole body going to be full of light. You see that correlation? It was parables to be hidden from you when you were asleep. But when you wake up, you know exactly what they're talking about. See, we, 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 we sleep in slumber, and they call it in church being a babe in Christ. But baby, when you, when you get off that milk, when your season comes, <laughs> you just know. This is like, like when I became conscious. I remember I get woke, woke in the middle of the night. And I was just speaking. Like I was just, I would literally hear messages in my ear and I'll say what I'm hearing like interpreting what I'm hearing and I'll be doing it really fast and if y'all would have seen it maybe if you check out my YouTube channel in the old, old, old videos you understand what I'm saying because it looked like is she okay because I didn't have a balance on this thing and it was like okay, I gotta say this and then guess what and I would go so fast because it was like a perk of energy so to speak but that's how I was when I first became conscious. I didn't have like the balance that I have now with myself. But it was just my season though. Like, like when, when I was able to finally hear, it was like a burst of everything. It was like you opened up all things. You open up to your Akashic records. You open up to understanding. And so now the people go text. Everything just makes sense. And I will wake up in the middle of the night and I will be told certain things and I'm, I'm regurgitating certain things. And I'm like, oh my God, this is really, really good. Oh my God, brother, how do I know this? How do I know this? And me, being, being an herbalist and a researcher and stuff, I started researching the things that I said out loud. Because I used to sleep with the note pad on side, a blank pen and, and a notepad on side of my bed because I knew in the middle of the night that I'll get woke up by 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 herbs, by 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 messages of consciousness, by biblical texts. That's when I would get visited by me. That was my peak. And so I knew I was gonna wake up. And when I woke up I wanted to be ready to write it down because I didn't want to forget it. And so sometimes I'll write it down and sometimes I'll go to bed and I'll look at it in the morning. 
But those nights when it was really, really powerful and intense, I'll just get up and I'll just open up the computer and I'll start researching. Like, what am I saying? Am I saying something that's real? How in the heck did I know this? I've never researched this thing before. And I'll research it. I'll, I'll just be Googling myself. I'll, I'll, go, I'll, do, I'll go to credible sites because I ain't going to just go to Google because Google will tell you, you you have cancer if you sneeze in too hard sometimes. And I want to go to credible sites and stuff. And do the and find out about the research that was done on this particular topic, and I'll just sit there in the bed and I'm like, oh my god. But see, that happens when it's your season. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. When it's your season, you just gonna know. You ain't gonna be believing no more. You just gonna know. And then you're gonna ask yourself, well, how did I know? How did I know? I just knew. Nobody could tell me nothing wrong. <laughs> That's what happens, babe. Hey, Mona. Hey, Duke. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Let's see. Let me catch up on these comments. Balance. Balance is key. Yes, yes. Dropping gems. Oh, thank you, babe. Please stay and listen. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Welcome all that's new here. Thank you. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. You're right. Wow, this right here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, goddess. Goddess awakes. I like that name. Thank you for being here. Hey, Styles. Thank you. That's how it works. Tell your story. I love you. Let us know. Yeah, these are the things that I've been through in this journey. And it's just me going down the rabbit hole of my mind, my thoughts. You know, my different states of being for me, for the unfoldment of me to get to know me. So I suggest you go to your unfoldment to get to know you. And so, and so the Power Within Transformation course will help you on your journey get to know you. And so and I'm not telling you to follow me on my power within transformation course that I left for you. I'm telling you to find the nuggets and gems that resonate with you because you have your own subconscious mind. You program your own subconscious mind to the way that you want to lead your life. I ain't telling you to be no vegan. I ain't telling you to be no pescetarian. I ain't telling you to do anything outside of what you want to build in your law, in your kingdom. Because this is where the power lies. You could, you could get to a place where you better understand nothing shall by any means harm me because of my mindfulness, because how I program my mindfulness to be. So you program your mind the way that you want it to be. But what I am telling you is or showing you is that this is, this is the way that I did it. This is the research that I've done. And it was a whole lot of research from being an herbalist to a researcher to being religious, then conscious to realizing that I'm God. To sitting with my inner self, to healing that past trauma, to understanding my organs. I'm talking about the research as it pertains to the cells of the body at a cellular level, at a molecule level, at a particle level. Because remember, I told you that we all are the atom in the beginning, the energy, all the way till we become the Christ conscious one. So I'm telling you to get all, to know all of it. I want you to get to know all of it. I want you to get to know inside, outside. I want to get you, I want you to see why you're going to, what you're going to, and how to get up out of that state of being and rise. Rise again. Yeah. Rise again. And I did the work. And then it'll teach you how to practice mindfulness and meditation. I sit there and I have a how-to video on how to simply meditate and be still and know that you're God. And you ain't got to be stressed out when you know that you're God. Because you know now that I can manipulate energy through my thoughts. Through my ability to focus. Yeah. But. I got to know myself to do that. I, got, I can't get antsy with myself. I can't say oh meditation is boring. Only, only little hippies do that. I don't see the benefit. I ain't got time for that. No, 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 no. You got time for that. But now because you understand yourself. And love is understanding. And you're here to get to know yourself. Because if you pay attention in the biblical text. It says Adam knew Eve. <laughs> Adam knew Eve, and this one knew that one, and this one knew that one. How, why do they keep saying who knew who? They wasn't believing they knew because they went inside of them to get to know them. This is spiritual. This ain't because, oh, they slept with this person. No, they went inside of them to get to know them because they understood life happens through me. <laughs> It happens through me, not to me. Yeah. 
Hey, Purpose. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for being here. Hey, Intuitive. So, how's, let me check. Let me catch up. I'm behind on these comments again. I'll be reading my mouth, y'all. Speak the truth, sis. Hey, Tab. Yeah. Sassy, sis, right. Okay. Had to get my journey out and write these nuggets you're sharing. Oh, my journal out and write these nuggets you're sharing. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's, it's, it's true for me based upon how I see the world, my perception, my conscious perception of how I see it now. Now, mind you, when I was a little girl, I told y'all I came up in religion, but I read the Bible as a little girl at least 30 times because all I had to do was, you know, my mom was really, really strict. We were in church. I went to school. We was, if it wasn't church event, it was clean up something. We always had to clean up and we always had something going on with the church. Whether it was quiet, rehearsal, Bible study, revival, something. So I'm watching the adults in my kingdom, my simulated environment. They love God so much, and they all knew the word. And so I wanted to know the word. But at the same time, when I became an usher in a church, I wanted to better understand the word because I took it up on it, on myself, to figure something out that these adults wasn't figuring out right. Because I kept looking at them and hearing them and seeing them on rinse and repeat. And I'm like, nah, they, they ain't figuring out this word right. So I'm going to lay up here, and I'm going to read this Bible for myself. I ain't going to wait for pastor to tell me to go to a certain chapter and tell me his version of it. This is something that the church people don't do, rightly divide the word of truth when that scripture is actually in there for them to do. But I wanted to rightly divide it for me. And so I begin to read it over and over again. I'm talking about from Genesis to Revelations over and over again. First couple of times, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was reading. I was just reading words. But I made it a point to better understand and make sense of it all. In my innocence, in my youthfulness, I was like this here in my mind. I'm like, look, devil, this, 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 this is where I was. Because mind you, I'm 12 years old now. Devil, I need you to make up with God. Just tell Jesus you're sorry. You know, I understand that you got kicked out, you know, of heaven. Because maybe you did some bad things, devil. But if you just tell God and Jesus... Because I separated it all. Tell him you're sorry. That you just want to come home. Because you know why I'm telling you this devil? This was my prayer. You know why I'm telling you this devil? Because I go to church. And my mom and everybody makes me go to church. A lot. And I see these people that love God so much. But they go through so many things. And I was thinking devil. If you just make up for Jesus and God. And everybody just love again. Everything will be okay. Devil, could you do this? Could you say sorry, Jesus? Because in people in church, it's really something they're missing. Somebody's not getting this thing right. And I'm trying to figure this thing out. So I'm going to ask you, just say sorry, Jesus. <laughs> that was my prayer. That was my 12-year-old prayer. And I was saying to myself, I'm going to figure this thing out. i got to help these people. Or if not, just at least help myself. Because I would read and then I would... <laughs> I would read about the little Israelites. And I said, i never forget when I was reading. I said, you know what? These people sound like black people in church. That's just how black people in church are. Just like that. <laughs> That's the kind of things that I would say in my youthful innocence at 12 years old. Trying to understand the biblical text because all my life was about was religion and just believe. And I saw those believers stumble. I heard them. I saw them suffer. And I said to myself, when I grew up, I do not want to be like these people. I don't want to be like these people. I was in that closet actually crying for my father to begin with, y'all. I was in the closet crying for my father. You know, it's supposed to be my first love, right? That wasn't coming for the weekend visits because my mom and my dad got a divorce. I started off being in my closet crying for daddy. But I stayed there too long. And I began to open up the Bible and read the Bible and started crying out to what I thought was God. Jesus. What I thought at that time was my Savior. The Jesus outside of me. Not knowing that it was within me all the while. This, this is my life, y'all. This is, this is why. So, so when you see me or hear me talking or quoting scripture, I ain't trying to get you to get into religion. No, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't trying 
They get you a part of no religion. No, it, it's just like so deeply rooted in me because that's all the little girl in me know is that word. And so I can relate to a lot of you all from the word because I know some of y'all been up in that thing called religion too. Hey, 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 how you doing over here? Tam, can you? Can I do what? What are you saying? Can I do what? Give me that question. Let's see. I, I go to, it go together now. Yeah. Yes. It's like a um, bubbling, bubbling brook. Okay. Can you? I see you. Um, you, you can finish that question over there. Oh my God. It's just be healthy page. I must have lost the other part of it. Oh, she's giving me chills. Oh, that's beautiful, babe. That's beautiful. You're explaining me to the T. Yeah, because you're my reflection. So really, everybody that's going to come through here going to be reflections of me as different state. That's that's what people get on their lives. They get, they get them. They get them. That's what you're going to get in your physical reality and your simulated environment. You, you just you're getting it, that you. Because you all that exist. But, I help, uh, but I'm happy that you're here. All of my reflections that are me. Come on, heal. You are revealing me to me. There you go. Miss Kathy, there you go. Yes, it does. You be like, whoa, God is here. Definitely. Definitely. I'm on your website. I just started back my plant-based journey. I'm buying your tea. Be the tea. Oh, yeah. Be the tea. They have soursop. This is it right here. Be the tea is really good for a weight loss journey, too. And mindfulness. It has um, a bunch of detoxing herbs that really sustain you as well. It's so calm. And I like those teas. The difference being that that's a regular tea that you you could actually make a gallon of it in lieu of um, the powder sustain detox. This is really bitter herbs. Bitter herbs, you know, they, they taste a little bit potent in the mouth. So the be the tea is calming, but yet it's still detoxing and helps get rid of that sluggish mucus and stuff. It helps to um, heal the kidneys and, and liver, detox the kidneys, liver, and digestive system. And so that equates to weight loss. And so you can make a whole gallon of it. And I would suggest that if you have some key limes, you could put a little squeeze of key lime up in there. Man, you and, some, and sweeten it with agave sweetener. That's what I normally do with mine when I consume it. Sweeten it with agave. That's the sweetener of choice because it's more like a prebiotic. So it gives you the beneficial bacteria at the same time. And then you got the herbs giving you the nutrients that you need. And I would say put in a little bit of the key lime in there because the key lime could burst through anything that's clogged. And it really takes care of the acids, you know, the lactic acid and the uric uric acid buildup that we'll get maybe from working out from being stressed from toxins in our body from you know so forth and so on but yeah it's a good tea <laughs> gratitude to you for today do you have cash app yes i do it's in my bio yep m y r i n w r l d yeah it's in my bio Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a beautiful thing. That's a love offering. Y'all can tap the screen too. And that'll be a love offering. Oh, I got 21,000 likes over here and 530 over here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the likes. Let me see if I can get 30,000 likes up there. Y'all tap the screen. Let's, this is offering time. That's going to be my offering. If y'all tap the screen, I can get 30,000 likes. Let's see if I can get that for today. <laughs> I appreciate y'all though. Thank you. That's it. Um, Three and a half years of physical and mental transformation. You need some help with goddess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it why has it been so long though? Why has it been so long? Is there is there a mindfulness side in there? A sample and block. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. I say, I say. Yeah, is that a um? Is are you ref, you you attracting any of your reflections over there? Three and a half years. I mean, we're all forever students. Three and a half years. You fighting yourself or you doing it with peace? Is what I'm asking. Cause I'm forever a student. I guess ten years for me, if that's what we're saying. But I'm wondering if 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 you you on the the path of you because my guru he started it 
But I feel kind of like we have people that start, but they don't carry on with us. Because it is for yourself. You see what I'm saying? It is for you to be alone with you, to get to know you. So people help you start, or they'll give you that thing that, that'll make you think. Most of us often than not, this person probably be the person that'll piss you off because, you know, you'll be triggered from your trauma. But then, once you get it, you kind of like, you kind of like comfortable and you become a loner voluntarily. And you become the guidance automatically because you become the seeker of the truth and you become that person that's asking why now because going on the days that you were in religion where you were afraid to ask for a why because you realize now that you God and that you could ask your subconscious mind why. So, so, so for, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just stimulating the conversation and thought, you know, and saying, I could say, why do I feel like I need guidance? Who should be guiding me? What does guidance feel like? So if you say, why do I feel like I need guidance? Maybe it'll show you that. There may be something inside of you that isn't healed just yet. And my transformation course can help you with all of these here thing, things. But you can help you with it too, along with the transformation course. And so if you say, why do I need guidance? You get to the core of that. Who should be guiding me? Then you'll learn about you. What does guidance feel like? Then you'll get maybe a thought or a feeling of guidance. And then so now if you know what guidance feels like, then you can conclude, wait, I have been guiding myself. Look at where I am. I led myself to this lie. Maybe I should just be more easy on myself. Oh, three and a half years? I've been on this path for three and a half years. Let's think about day one. I didn't know half of the things that I knew. Then I think I'm doing a great job. And see how you could build yourself up based upon you asking yourself questions like this here? That's the type of thing we could do on the, um, the transformation course journey. Always question yourself because you are where the power really lies. It lies within you. I ain't nothing but your subconscious mind. Now, I could remind you of the goodness that's in you, but I'm not going to ever be your guide. And if you find anybody in the physical reality that tries to say that they are your guide and their lead, your leader, don't go that way. Just like the biblical text said, no, God ain't over there. Don't go over there. Go back to the source. You are the source. Your subconscious mind is always going to be the source for you because it's your kingdom. You created me just to remind you that you're it. I want you to see that it's the power within you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, BJ. Thank you for being here. I'm ordering. Let's see. You are inspirational. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm ordering. Quit bugging me. For the, that person with that uh, crystal, if you order, quit bugging me. This is quit bugging me. It's a parasite cleanse. And so this is for large worms or any type of parasites, that, you know, that you, if you have to feel bloating after you eat and things like that there. That's how you'll know if you have bad sinus issues or mucus draining, da da da. And then quit bugging me is for you. But or if you just want to do a parasite cleanse and you don't feel nothing right now, you just want to purge from parasites because all sickness and disease they start off with parasites and stuff inside of it, and they just get bigger and they turn into a tumor. They get a little harder. They turn, you know, they say it's a tumor, and then they, you know, cancerous and all that. But it started with a parasite at first. What I'm saying here is get the quit bugging me along with the alchemist oil because this is going to get rid of the large worm. But the alchemist oil is going to get rid of the larva and the eggs that when you try to kill parasites, they're going to try to leave behind because they don't want to die. And so you want all three. Anytime you're doing any type of parasite cleanse, you don't want to just do one. You want to gang up on them during parasites. Because they're going to try to, just like them little fruit flies that we get up in the kitchen, you think you're going to kill them all that you see, and you get out of the kitchen, and the next day, they didn't multiply. Like, damn, I thought I killed them. No, no, no. They have life cycles. They laid eggs all up in the little drains where the water was dripping and all of that. They laid, laid eggs and everything because they didn't want to die. 
They had babies for, before you smashed them upside the wall. That's the same way <laughs> parasites in the body be. Just want to let you know that because I saw that you wanted to um, quick bug me. All right, let me catch up on these comments. Living water. Yeah, living water. Love you. Got to go. Twice Thomas. I didn't even know you was up in here. Okay, babe. Thank you for joining. It said, and he knew Eve. So my understanding was that it meant so they could have kids. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, because well, that's a beautiful way. But you just, all I'm saying is that you were looking at it physically because they could have kids. Yeah, that's physical. That's what a lot of church people look at physically, religion. But it's the spiritual side of it, all of that too. Remember, laws of polarity, two sides. Spiritually, it's new. New mean went inside of her energetically to get to know her because he knew himself. So when you know yourself, you know your reflections. Just like how I'm sharing with you all that I know the people that's coming forth is an extension of me because I know me, because I know myself. And so you only really attract that which you are in the frequencies where you've traveled already. That's what I'm trying to say. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Monday prayer service and Saturday tour. <laughs> so yeah, rehearsal. Sunday twice a day. Yep, yep. No parties. Yeah, so you understand me, Orange. Yeah, I did a similar prayer as a child. Wow, I wasn't the only one. Nope. We was, well, we was touching and agreeing, Ruta. <laughs> That's funny. I lost my marriage and friendship, and I need a person, you, to be a good friend and help. Styles, yeah, okay, okay. Thank you so much for your truth and transparency. This is so helpful. You're so welcome, right? We are understanding you. Yeah, sassy. That's what it's all about. Because love is all understanding. I need that tea. It's available on my website. The link is in my bio. Um, what's the name of the year again? Please and thank you. The name of the year. I don't know what you're talking about. Babe. The age of awakening you're talking about? The Aquarius age? Maybe that's what you're talking about. The name of the year. Maybe when we're talking about the seasons. When the Christ conscious one will return. Mm, that's this age. That's what I'm thinking. I'm behind on my comments, but I'm about to catch up. Um, you're out of stock. I just ordered quit bugging me. Oh my goodness. Then I could go to my uh, website and add more. Let me see. Let me see if I could find it right quick. All right. I'm going to um, add some right quick. God is crystal. Hey, I know I missed out. Oh, hey, Tia. You late, Tia. I'm optimistic, Styles. We got to be optimistic. It's very important in your journey. Let me see. Um, let's see. Quit bugging me. Let me look at the quantity. Because I get to control that. Um, no, no, no. I have some. I got 14. I got 14 left. 14 in stock right now. I don't know what you're saying. I'm out of stock. Um, tell me what you say that I'm out of stock of. But it's not to quit bugging me. Oh, baby. Are you talking about the alchemist oil? Because not. I shipped a whole bunch of alchemist oils out yesterday. Because the alchemist oil can be used for oil pulling. It can be used for um, externally and internally. It could be used for um, killing parasites. Sorry about that. It could be used for killing parasites and all kinds of things. Quit bugging me, have some, the alchemists, and the alchemists all have some too. I'm not sure what you're talking about, I'm sold out of. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you understand why it happens? Okay, I'm just seeing that comment. I already ordered it. I'm excited. I'm happy for you too. I'm going back now. Yeah, what do I need to get with, with it again? I'm sorry, I'm behind. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I just answered that. I just answered that. The alchemist and the quit bugging me needs to be coming together for the parasite cleanse, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, oh, of be the tea? Hmm. Let me see. It's be the tea that I'm sold out of. Let me see. Because I can make more bundles of that. I could add to the quantity if that's what it is. Let me see. Be the tea. Yep, I am sold out. Let me edit it right quick. Let me edit it and add some more while I'm on his live right now. Inventory. Okay. Stop quantity. I'm going to add some rage now and update. 
Okay, it's updating. Okay, now it's updated. Try now. They have some now, babe. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, Miss Ree. Mm -hmm. Please do. <laughs> Look, she tell she can know me. Please do. No. Okay, B and C. Okay, thank you. What's the parasite cleanse in the bag? Yeah, this is called um, quit bugging me. Parasite cleanse. It comes with a little spoon for measurement. You could actually take a bath with it, or you could digest it. You just put it in water, stir it around. It's a powder form, high in silica. Silica is a cousin of uh, carbon, or AKA melanin, and so it helps to protect and your body detox your body kill parasites by dehydrating them kind of like suffocating them so you have to drink a lot of water anytime you're on it whether it is quit bugging me the alchemist oil or sustain detox or even be the teas these are all the little detox and things that i have you have to drink hydrating water and so when you drink water i ain't saying no dead hungry water i ain't saying no distilled water i ain't saying no um Reverse osmosis water. Please don't do that to yourself because it's hungry water. Hungry water gonna try to take from you. You want water that replenishes you. The best water, the best, most powerful, energetic water gonna be the water from young coconut. But it's okay if you don't do the young coconut water fresh from the coconut. You can go to the store and buy a regular case of spring water. Spring water. Now, these cases, I'm not ready to work for this here, too. This is a part of the transformation course that teaches you how to manipulate some of your water. I, I posted this here on your on my um, God is Just Be Healthy page. And so you will buy these, making sure that you turn it around and see that it is spring. Because some of the waters that look like this here in Walmart are distilled or reverse osmosis. So you want one that's regular spring water and says it's spring water. And you're going to manipulate the energy of this water because you're going to add some gray Celtic sea salt in your water. And you're also going to add some sodium bicarbonates in your water. So now your water is alkaline. It has electrolytes inside of it. So if you are on a parasite cleanse, what I'm saying to you is don't be drinking no acetic dishonor water. Because you, you, what, what are you doing with your life? You do, you put in alkalinity, you put in something to fight and dehydrate and kill parasites, but the sign of water ain't going to be the, the water of choice. Distilled in reverse osmosis water, it ain't time for you to drink that there. You need to be alkalizing. You need to create an environment that is more alkaline so these parasites and different um, toxins can be expelled to create an environment where they don't even want to live in here no more. So they're coming out of the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you get that part. <sighs> Let's see. So I need what? No, wait. That one went up too fast. So do I need all three? Quit bugging me. Then the tea and the oil? No, you need two. You need the quick. If you're doing the parasite cleanse, you need these two. These two. Because to these two make three. You got the you got the parasite cleanse in here, which is one. And then the alchemist oil, that's two. So this one. Plus these two herbs, which is clove and oregano, the world's most powerful. Clove is the world's most powerful antioxidant in the world. This could be used both internally and externally. So if you have pain, you could use it externally. If you have bronchial issue, use it external. But this has to be diluted. It has to be diluted with a carrier oil. Meaning if you have grapeseed oil, olive oil, mm, hemp seed oil, um, what up? Avocado, I said that. Yeah, a coconut oil. You could dilute this inside of a carrier oil because this is very, very powerful. A burning sensation will happen if you put, if I put one drop of this on my tongue right now because that's how potent and powerful. This is the world's most powerful antioxidant mixed with clove. So you have three things going after the parasite to capture every stage of the parasite. The worm stage, the larva stage, and the egg state. If anybody tell you, oh no, all you need is da da da, no. They're lying. You ain't gonna clear up everything. Because you need at least three things at a time capturing, killing every level of the parasites out your body. That's why I don't I don't I don't be selling just one thing. Even in this here, the say stain detox to detox your body. They got six herbs up in there. Even in B2T, that's multiple herbs up in there. But I wanna show you this here. 
this here is um, baking soda that I'm talking about. When I tell you to put some baking soda up in here, I ain't talking about almond ham. I'm talking about Bob's Red Mill, pure baking soda with no aluminum up in here. The detox your body. If you know somebody that have cancer and they're on chemo, I'll just throw this in here. But since we're talking about that, they need to be doing that with their water. When they come out of that chemo, because chemo is very, 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 very acidic. They give you acids to try to heal the acidic environment, environment already. And that is a recipe for flatline zero. Check out next lifetime. See what I'm saying? But when you manipulate, manipulate your water and you put sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate alkalizes your water. Sodium bicarbonate is in spring water, real spring water, the Evian ones, you know, the expensive ones. You turn it around, you see that they have electrolytes, which is your salts that I'm telling you about. Your minerals that I'm telling you about that only come from gray Celtic salt or pink Himalayan sea salt, they have it already in there naturally. But see, these little bitty bottles of water, the little less expensive ones, I'm teaching you how to transform the energy of your water right now. You buy the case of it and you manipulate your water guard and you put a pinch of your pink Himalayan sea salt or your gray Celtic sea salt. Whichever one, whichever one you pick, but make sure your salt have color. So you pick one of them, but you make sure you put sodium bicarbonate in there too, a pinch of that. And now the end result is going to be you having a case of water that you just poured two ingredients in there that your body needs. Because when your body is thirsty for water, it ain't, it ain't just thirsty for that liquid hydration. It's thirsty for the minerals that's inside of that water, God, because you are electric. <laughs> you have an electric body. Because remember, I told you, you are the atom. You are the energy. You're the darkness that was on the face of the deep. And that was only energy. And this is how you live with live foods that are energetic for your body. This is part of knowing yourself, God. So whatever one you pick, drink you some good water. Either coconut water or some spring water that you manipulated. All right? Ew, Lord, this drink. Y'all don't have me on this thing live all that time I've been preaching. Now, don't, don't have me acting like the black church. When you go to church and you <laughs> and you in the church for about five, six hours. I'm about to wrap this thing up because church has got too long. I want y'all to come back, yeah? <laughs> Let me get past these last couple of uh, messages. So um, I worked on reverse osmosis water when in the Navy. It's horrible for us. It really is. And so sometimes... Okay, I gotta show you. See, so this is so I'm just so passionate about it. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to take y'all time. Y'all got time. Y'all got time. Let me know if I'm doing all right with y'all time. Cause I gotta tell you, there's so much information, you know, that I've learned, and I just be wanting to share with people. So, reverse osmosis water is so bad for us. Even when you get the reverse osmosis um house water filters, oh, talk about bad. Talk about we'll suck for life. And I ain't telling you nothing that I read. I'm telling you something that I know will suck the life out of you. But on the flip, if you, because if, you know, some places they have really bad waters. And so instead of getting the whole house reverse osmosis water with the big carbon filter, which sounds really good because, you know, carbon is really, really powerful, but it's in a dome, this carbon filter. And so all of the parasites, all of the parasites is, is getting captured inside of the dome of the filter, right? And so no air is going through that. So you got parasites and viruses and toxins inside of that dome. And so what's going to happen, because you decided you want to strip your water of everything, it's going to, new water that's passing through, it got to pass through there. And so now, yeah, it, it's trying to clean out your water, but you're picking up the stench. You're still picking up the stench of all of that bacteria and virus that it already caught, caught. It probably was good for the first two or three weeks. But after that, being that you couldn't open up that dome and freshen it and give it some air, <laughs> you done set the whole house on fire. You, you done messed up to everybody's health. And the integrity of the skin is going to be compromised because you decided you wanted to strip everything from your water. When you when you uh, you need the minerals in the water. So on the contrary, if you do live in an environment, well, cause I'm out here in Arizona, this water out here is so hard, it's harder than the water's water. If you want to get any type of thing on your water for your house, I would suggest that you get a water softener with salts. With salts. Now in, in so then they have the um, solar salts that you can get. 
to soften your water. Man, I be washing my hands with the water out here. I just got mine maybe about a month or so ago because I just moved here not too long ago. I wash my hands here with my new installed water softener that has solar salts in it. The softest water ever. The best bath ever because it's pure salt. And you know me, I'm extra. Even though gray Celtic salt costs a whole lot of money, I be putting gray Celtic salt because I like my salt to have color. But but that's very expensive. You probably wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> I'm just extra because I, I want my salt to have color. And that solar salt is white. And I be thinking, wait a minute, if it's white, it's been stripped, so it need a little bit of gray and pink up in there. So I be putting a little colorful salts in mine, getting extra minerals. But you can't go wrong when your water has life. Water is looking for something to attach to, is what I'm saying. Stop stripping your water. Stop believing people that's telling you that reverse osmosis water is good for you. Stop believing people that tell you about the PPMs and water and tell you about all kind of stuff that's in the water. That don't matter. That don't matter. Because some of those things you need in that water, like your water needs sodium. Your water needs electrolytes. Your water needs magnesium. Your water needs this because this is how you create sodium bicarbonates, I mean hydrochloric acid inside of you. Your water needs sodium bicarbonates because it around your stomach, the buffer around your stomach needs those sodium bicarbonates in order for your stomach not to be burning through your chest because the fire within, the hydrochloric acid within is the acids that break down your food. You need these things in your water. You need, don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't come over here buying something from my website and drinking water with nothing in it. And so you're doing something good on one end and then you have ace and it will reverse osmosis and pretty much stripping all of the minerals that I'm giving you in the herbs because you're water hungry. Because you want to drink the timing. Because you want, want reverse osmosis because you don't want nothing in your water. No, uh-uh, you're doing too much. Stop believing in people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you, you're welcome, you're welcome. Did you say baking soda in the water? Yes, that's what I said, sodium bicarbonate is in the water. Okay, thank you much, gratitude, I'm gonna shout out in my life. Okay, okay, thank you, I appreciate you. Let me, am I following you? Let me make sure. God is crystal, okay, okay, I'm following you now, that way we can um, keep in touch. Thanks for confirming. Yes, yes, yes. So true because a lot of times I'm thirsty and water doesn't quench. The water's not quenching because you're not getting minerals from it. Like if I were to drink just this regular out here, this is called crystal geyser. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, if I was just drinking that crap, I wouldn't be getting no minerals from that. Crystal geyser. I wouldn't be getting no minerals. I put my minerals in there. And then my water have like, and it tastes so much better. It's so much soothing going down because now I got my sodium bicarbonates, I got magnesium, I got my salt, I got my electrolytes, I got minerals. Gray salt and pink Himalayan salt have 80 plus minerals inside of it. So I got about 80 plus minerals up in here. So I just electrify my salt. I just did something good for me. That's why a lot of people don't like drinking water. Because they be like, oh, it don't taste like nothing. Oh, that water made my kidneys hurt. Oh, that water was hard. Yeah, because these waters, anybody could get a little LLC and drink some water that they didn't just purify. So what I do is I go and get this um, spring water that they say is supposed to have minerals inside of it, even though the water quality reports to tell you that they ain't got much of nothing up in here. And I manipulate it after they're supposed to be the manipulated to how I want it to be in my body. And that's what you need to be doing. You, you need to be accountable for everything that's going on in your kingdom, God. Yeah. Yeah. I never heard of that one before. B A, I, I, they don't sell sell that one. B A, I, coconut water. Oh yeah, I I did see this one here before. I did see this one. Let me look at these ingredients right quick, and I'll tell you right now. Let me see. I've seen this before. I don't remember what store that was, but I sure did see it. You just got to pay attention to I think I, this is the one that I saw that had different. Uh-uh. 
It have different, uh-uh. Nope. It's, be, it's infused with, uh-uh. No. Nope. The BAI one, coconut water, no. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. I'd rather buy the coconut itself. Or oh, I'll buy one that says, when I turned it around, 100% coconut. That's it. You don't, need, you don't need a water, you know, that's in a can that's going to last you for 10 years. Because that's letting you know that they got preservatives up in that thing. You need one that you turn around, it has a decent expiration date, and it has one ingredient. Coconut water, because that's all you want. Just like when you buy juices. If you want cherry juice, the ingredient should say cherry juice. It shouldn't say filter water, concentrated cherries, high fructose corn syrup, da 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 da. Cause no, no, that's not that's not what we have wanted. We just wanted cherries. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. At least four hours now. Are you serious, grateful? I gotta get up out of here. I've been on here for about four hours. Oh no, oh no, I gotta go. And y'all talk about, y'all talk about, yes, we got time. See, y'all, y'all like them, them y'all probably be the members in church. Like, no, pastor, preach, preach. What a word. And be going home all the time. <laughs> Look at y'all talking about, go ahead. How do I order? I'm ready to order. My website, hey, granted, my website is in my bio. Click on my profile picture here at the top and you'll see a link. www.totoftheearthpub.org. That's a link to my website. Click on that link. And I'm not sure what you're trying to order, but it'll bring you to my website. If you're trying to order the transformation course, it's underneath my picture, the picture of me. And it says the Power Within Transformation course. It's a bunch of how-to videos that'll help you so much on your journey. How to cleanse your organs, how to shop for, um, how to shop, how to grocery shop, how to read harmful ingredients, how to avoid the harmful ingredients. I take you to the store and I, I walk around and I show you. I'm, I'm a size two at that state because that's where I was. I was researching, I was learning, I was growing, and I was trying to take my family with me. So I was documenting the things that I was doing on my journey. How to meditate, how to rewrite your story, how to heal that inner girl, you know, so the subconscious mind will be on board with the things that you're doing in the physical. Because most often than not, all them people that not sat there and then had a New Year's resolution for January 1st to get up in the gym. The reason why it's not even February 14th yet, but the reason why a lot of them fail and aren't there anymore by the time Valentine's Day get here is because they ain't never penetrated the subconscious mind. They, they, they just said, oh, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to the gym. And their subconscious mind says, shit, you ain't tell me nothing about this here. Watch you quit by February 14th. So in order for you to excel and for guaranteed results, I throw in the spiritual up in here and don't undermine the spiritual side. Because that's the side you got to penetrate to renew your mind. Because more powerfully than the physical is the spiritual. The spiritual is the 99.99. .99. So I want you to sit there and listen to them self-concept videos too. So it can penetrate in your subconscious mind and so that you won't be revisiting whatever it is of the reason why you are on the site. Whether it is to lose the weight, to get rid of the parasites or renew your mind. Your mind will be renewed. And behold, all things shall be new. <laughs> and so that's, that's, that's just how the thing go. So I want you to know why I have both sides on there. Yeah, peace to the Middle East. <laughs> That's funny. How do I sign up for your class? That is the Power Within Transformation course. Same place. Go to the website. Enter the code. I am ready. Y'all don't forget. Somebody put that in the comments for the people. I got 37 more messages to catch up on. But somebody type I am ready. That's the coupon uh, code if you want the transformation course. So hopefully everybody could see that. So you could get an additional discount. It's already on sale, but I like to have the people when I'm live to get an added benefit because they sat here and listened to me preach for four hours. But mind you, I don't know if they talk this long. I'm a little introvert lady. I, I'm about to wrap this thing up though and go look at my little hummingbirds outside because I don't be talking this much. But today, a lot of my reflections came through. Let's see. Hey, see. Most of them have added sugar, but I found one without. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I'm talking to the, the um, somebody on my other page on God is just be healthy. I got two pages, y'all. God is just be and God is just be healthy. Sometimes it is hard. And so I know for sure that there is a brand. I guess it's pronounced Vita. B-I-T-A. 
So garbage. Don't even fool around with that coconut water. I know that one. And now I know this B-A-I one. Don't fool around with that one because it's tailing me right here on the site. I'm looking at the ingredients about the um, sativa leaf and all of these other sweeteners that they've put up in here in this filter water. Uh-uh. Don't. That, I don't, we don't need that. That ain't real. We want to go to the source. And this is something also that I teach on the transformation course. Power within transformation course. Yeah, thank you for mentioning that, see. But this one here is it. Can't go wrong with this here. Can't go wrong with watermelons. Can't go wrong with cantaloupe. Honeydew melon. Things like that. You know what I'm But we are intrigued with you. Yeah, y'all got me over here. Running my mouth, you say orange say with y'all intrigue, huh? Yes, 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 thank you. Yes, we have time. Y'all still talk about y'all have time. I love you, I love it. We want you to stay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I got to my 30 and still tap. Oh, I'm at 34,000. That's so pretty. And I don't even be looking up there, you know, I don't even be looking up there. But I thank y'all, I appreciate that. I got my 30k. Mm -hmm. It didn't go to work. I didn't go to work today. So yes, I have time. Oh, Miss Being So, you're still up in here. <laughs> Hi, what about chlorophyll and water? Liquid chlorophyll, it's really, really good. Liquid chlorophyll is, let me move this coconut. I think I got some up in this refrigerator in one second. I haven't used it in a minute. Yeah, I get this one here. I haven't used it. Excuse my top. I, I waste it. But yeah, this one here. This one here I like. Y'all can see that? Liquid chlorophyll. It's like an internal um, deodorant. Now they have some liquid chlorophylls to have peppermint in there. Don't get the one with the peppermint. Don't get the one with the peppermint. But it's really, really good. I love liquid chlorophyll. I love it. I put it sometimes. I'll put it in my um, key lime aid. You know? Because my key lime may be key lime's water and agave. And then I put a little splash of the green liquid chlorophyll. I love it. And it's really, really beneficial. Yeah. But make sure, like I said, you balancing it out with the water having magnesium in there. Right? Because, you know, the chlorophyll is by itself. It needs something to ignite it. So chlorophyll needs magnesium. So if you have like the gray salt up in here or the pink Himalaya sea salt up in here already, you got your magnesium because both of them got magnesium in it. So now you got your magnesium and your chlorophyll. So you want to make sure they go together. That's how some of these vitamins are. Like for example, the people that be saying, yeah, my doctor say I need D3. Well, your D3 ain't going to work if you don't have no magnesium because it needs to be absorbed like that. So you got to make sure you have you're taking maybe a magnesium supplement with your D3 supplement so the two can connect because they need each other like that. Or you can have your magnesium in your water from your salts. But I'm just saying, make sure you, if you're doing chlorophyll, you're doing magnesium. Magnesium is so important. Magnesium is needed through every organ in the body, especially in your heart. Like those people that have like heart issues, high blood pressure issues, heart, past heart attack experiences, you know, a valve in their heart that they had to get replaced, you know, like they need magnesium. And you, you could also get magnesium from my soaps, Be Nourished. It's high in magnesium. Magnesium soaks. I have a, that's what I was supposed to be doing. I have a soap coming up, a bath soap. It's going to be new on my website. It's called Be Calm. I'm probably um, activate it later on today, but it's going to be rich in magnesium in the, in the salts that can be absorbed through your skin. So for example, that some person who didn't had that reverse osmosis, um, filter in their house and I didn't messed up the integrity of their skin and their skin and their organs are craving from, for magnesium because they've been stripped of it, whether it was from that reverse osmosis house filter, or they probably was thinking they was doing something by drinking reverse osmosis water. Well, they can soak in that bath soak, and what they'll do, 
would be intravenously soaking through the skin because you got to remember that the skin is an organ too. The skin is the Lord's organ on the body. What you put on it penetrates inside of you. So it'll be penetrating inside of you the magnesium and the 80 plus minerals from the salts that I include in it. And it smells good because I put incorporated essential oils that are relaxed and soothe you and clear up bronchitis type issues and stuff. So I'm excited about my next product. I got a lot of products that I got to keep up with, but it's cool though, because I create it and I can manipulate the quantities. So I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be having a little bad soap for y'all and y'all got to support it and, and tell me how I feel because it feels good to me. Everything that I sell on my website, I use this stuff and I've been healed from this stuff and then I share with you all. All right. Let's see. So I answered that about the chlorophyll. Very good information. Link in bio. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that, Miss Being So you're a beautiful soul, guys. Goddess, I appreciate you so much today. Sending you all love and light. Thank you, Crystal. I appreciate you. Thank you all that tapped the screen. Yes, how can I order? Can I order the two-part detox? Yes. How can I? On the website, link in the bio, up here. You see my picture with my white hair wrap up there? You click on it, and it's going to bring you to my profile. And you'll see in bold letters my website, www.sortoftheearthpub.org. Go there, and voila. <laughs> the two part that you talk about is you're going to be looking for a picture like this here. Quit bugging me. And the other part you talk about, you're going to be looking for a picture like this here. And it's called the alchemist. So you put them suckers in that cart. And you get up out of there. <laughs> Hello, Nicole. Thank you for being here. What brand of salt do you use? I use two. Let me show you that. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you the salt. Since I'm right here in the kitchen. Let's see. So, this one here. These are the salts that I'm talking about. This is the only salt. White salt is toxic salt. White salt will strip you of all of the minerals inside of your body, causing you high blood pressure. And this is why the so-called doctors will tell you to stay away from them salt. Yeah, stay away from toxic salt. Toxic salt could also be in those blended salts. For example, back in New Orleans, we had a blended salt called Tony Sashtry. Tony Sashtry had white salt as the first ingredient and white salt as probably about the third ingredient and white salt as probably about the fifth ingredient because it was full of white toxic salt. Recipe for high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, whatever you want. If you keep on using Tony, bless Tony's heart though. Tony may be on the journey too, but he ain't there yet. So don't listen to Tony and don't take Tony's salt unless you won't be in the doctor's office. But these salts that have color, this is where you go. You want minerals? You ain't getting no high blood pressure from this here. This here going to alkalize your body. It's going to give you your magnesium, your hydrochloric acid you need in your gut. It's going to give you 80 plus minerals. This one here about 80. This one here about 90 actually. This one here actually has a little bit more magnesium. So if you have like, I would say like if you have cancer, <laughs> if you have cancer, if you have heart issues, high blood pressure, I would say you use this one here because this one more higher in magnesium. This one here is more higher in magnesium. Potassium. So the people with the um, potassium issue will probably be the people who like having um, the kidney, kidney problems and stuff. Yeah, they probably would need the potassium to soothe them. The people that had that reverse osmosis filter, yeah, they're going to probably need some potassium to soothe them kidneys. But you could do interchangeably one or the other. One or the other. Buy both of them. Buy both of them. One day do this one, one day do this one. Because they're both good. But guess what? They both got color too. They ain't been stripped of the minerals. So this one here has a color. My baby say, my baby boy say, Ma, it look like snow. It's like a moist, wet salt that's full of magnesium. And so, it's full of magnesium. And so like when you taste it or use it, you can see how wet. I don't know if y'all can see it on this, this here video. But it's a wet, it's like a light gray. Can I do like this here? <laughs> Can you see? It's like a light gray. So, so it has color. It has color. And boy, is it powerful. One of these here. One of these here. Oh my God, this is so good. It's so many 
minerals inside of here. And so when you're deficient, I'm not deficient, y'all. But when I was deficient and I first consumed pink Himalaya sea salt and I licked it for once, I was like, oh my God, what is this? And I was just like licking my whole head because I needed those minerals. I'm not deficient. So I ain't going to be licking it. But what you could do, what you could do with, with the gray salt is to put some underneath your tongue and just let it dissolve. Anything that you put underneath your tongue will be absorbed throughout your body. It will go into your lymphatic system. <clears throat> and it'll help to soothe, soothe your body. It's almost like a saline kind of like solution. This is why salt is important. <clears throat> this is why salt is important. Because salt, being this saline solution, is going to help you loosen up the mucus. A lot of us, when we have parasites especially, they're laying eggs and stuff. They're creating mucus. A lot of the foods that we eat, this is why I always talk about salt. The foods that we eat are mucus forming foods. So if you've got a whole bunch of mucus that's forming inside of you, you need something that's going to soften that mucus and expel that mucus out of you. You ever paid attention to people putting on, putting salt on um, the caterpillar? The caterpillar, it will happen. It dries it up. Just dry it up. So it can help you dry up that mucus. You ever heard of people gargling with salt when they have a sore throat? It helps to heal it. Salt water, bath, salt, salt, salt. But it's the right kind. You got to get the right kind, though. The right kind. How much of the Celtic salt do you use? Hey, 66. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. This one here. Cause I don't have I didn't I don't have one of them little mini do I? Them little mini measures. But this here is what? 16.94 ounce. This is what a lot of people have um, you know, with um their water bottles. This is what a lot of people purchase, right? So here we go. I take a pinch with my finger. And I do like this. You, met, you call this the measurement. I stroke my fingers three times. One, two, three. That's it. That's my pinch. Now you call that a measurement. I don't know what that measurement going to be. But that's what I do with my, my um, pink salt or my gray. Now with my gray, being, my, being that my gray, I have big pieces of gray. You need to get the fine pieces of gray so you could do that. Right? And then I got my... Bob Red Mill baking soda. Not no almond hammer. Bob Red Mills. Pure baking soda. Aluminum free. Same concept. I get a pinch. One, two, three. That's what I do. You don't want to put too much in there. You want to be, you want to put just enough. Now the combination of both of them inside of this here water. Alkalizes this water, make this water softer and smoother for me, make this water more pH balanced, make this water full of minerals for me. And I do this here to all of the all of the individual bottles of water that I purchase, the whole case. So that way now in anybody in the family that's coming in the refrigerator and getting the water, they got alkaline water. They got smooth, delicious water. They got water with minerals inside of there. You see? <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. What did I say? Caterpillar? Snail. That's what I meant. The snails. <laughs> I did say caterpillar, huh? <laughs> yeah, thank you for catching that, 66. So, yeah, three little pinches of this colored salt and of the sodium bicarbonate on a 16.9 bottle of water. Now, you can add more when you have a gallon, of course. If you have a gallon of, like, tea. Because I even put it in my um my teas that I make. My key lime A that I make. But then, I'm putting a little bit more. You know, I'm, I'm picking up a chunk of it and putting it in there. You know, you know, black people don't really have the proper me measurements. But I gave you a little guide there, 66. I hope that guide helps you. <laughs> 
But yeah, you don't need more than that because you don't want to overkill it with salt. But you, because a little bit of it, it's going to go a long ways, especially if now all that you're drinking is, you know, alkaline water. Now, that would be different for a person who has cancer and is very acidic. Now, a person that has cancer and has been through chemo and that are already at probably about a two or three, because chemo is probably about a three of acid, acidity in the body. Well, them, I would say for them, maybe one, one, a half of a teaspoon, you know, to start. And then they could work themselves down, you know, weeks, gradually go down. But they to start, they, they need to build up. They need all the alkalinity that they could possibly get. And it's going to feel good. It's going to help. Actually, I'm dealing with a person who's going through that by their choice. But it's going to help them when they get out of the chemo to get rid of the acids and the um, chemo that's in their system. And it makes this person go to the bathroom and they spill it out. Because, you know, they put the medication in the person's body. And as soon as this person gets out of that, um, you know, treatment or whatever, I let them know, hey, it's time to alkalize. It's time to get them sodium bicarbonates up in here in the minerals because you just got stripped. So you want to replenish. So I would say for those type of people that are really, really aesthetic, they could put more. They need more because they've been stripped of everything. They really on the acid side to two or three pH, whereas zero is going to be that their life force is taken from them. So they need to do more. And, you know, every water bottle needs to have more of them sodium bicarbonates because their life is on the line. Did you say the salt lowers blood pressure? Yeah, what, the real one. Mm -hmm. The real one does. The white one won't. The, light, the white one would heighten it. So this will lower it because you got your magnesium in there. You got your minerals in there. Blood pressure is going to be thick, tacky blood. Salt, this saline solution of salt, is going to lower it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to thin that clumpy blood. It's going to work on expelling things. It's going to work just like the snail example. It's going to work on like, you know, drawing up that mucus and getting that clump of pus and stuff up out of there. And then when you get the pus and stuff up out of there and help them kidneys, soften the acids in the kidneys and help the kidney filter. Now, guess what? The lymphatic system is working better. And so there's the blood pressure is subsiding because the kidneys are filtering now and everything isn't so toxic and acidic no more. So yeah, it's going to lower the blood pressure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I answered that one. How much salt? You saw that, huh, Miss, Miss uh, Leduga? Leduga? I hope I'm saying that right. I'll be trying. A pink. Oh, okay. Grateful answered you. Okay. Thank you. Is my copper cup good to drink out of? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I need to give me some. I used to have some, but I moved and, you know, some of my stuff is at my other Airbnb. Yes. See, straight from the coconut is best. Yeah. You're right about that. We have time for you. Oh, Y'all still talk about that. Huh? I tried to click. And nothing happens. You gotta wait. Sometimes it take a, a minute, depending upon you know the speed of the the internet or ser your service, whatever. But that's the link, though. Or maybe you could um try on your computer. Thank you for sharing good information. You are so welcome, Eric. Let's see. Hey, Creole. God is just B. You 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 giving me a shout out or something right there? Oh, look at Big Zachary. Hey, Big Zachary. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it just worked for me. Try again. Okay, Miss B and Soul. Okay, thank you for checking on that. How do we fix insomnia, insomnia after awakening? I live in pure bliss, but I love learning and can't stop. <laughs> be easy with yourself. But you you remind me so much of me. I'll be up in the weary hours of the night because of the awakening. Because you got to understand that you're awakening to like... um more of the brain capacity you are awakening and <laughs> and it's kind of like you're excited about it you know you want you your beginning stage of, of a journey of self and so you're just anxious to get there but understand this here part ain't no there to get because you're gonna forever be a student so learn how to take your time with yourself and be e easy with yourself and tell yourself everything is perfect 
All I have to do is be. Milk this moment. This moment right here is perfect. It's so beautiful. It's so orchestrated. I love myself. I love where I am. And everything that I need to get done shall be done. I want to enjoy this here moment. Because if, if you were me in this here physical body of mine, you could say something as simple as like, you know what? Even though I have these orders to feel, this is my passion. I don't want to miss this here moment because I manifested this here moment talking to you all too. I'm a manifester manifesting. Even though I was sleeping in them, I was, if I were you, I was sleeping in my great slumber and now I'm awake and I'm full of energy and I'm eager to learn about myself. But I understand that myself is boundless and it's going, it, it took me eons to get to this here place. You see what I'm saying? So just understand that because love is understanding. Understand that about yourself. Be easy with yourself. And when them eyes, and I'm and, and, and I'm I'm the pot calling myself black right now. Cause last night I was up to like four in the morning. But when them eyes, this is you gonna know when it's time to be easy. Cause when them eyes shut down, cause I could hardly see, but I was really into what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, this is really good, but um, but I gotta go to bed now. You gonna know when the eyes can't go no more. But that just accept that as being eager, you know, just excited with your journey. But understand that you can never get it wrong. You don't need to digest everything in one setting. Be easy with yourself. Yeah. Okay. Do you have in person? In-person classes in Florida. No, I don't. I do consultations, though, Divinity. It's available on my website underneath my picture of me that's on my website. Um, it says consultations available. If you click on that link, you can schedule a consultation. And we could do a Zoom face-to-face -face on a computer. Or you could schedule even me being a mentor because I do mentors. And that's me and you talking 45 minutes a day, twice a week, for four weeks, a month reprogramming the subconscious mind and then allowing you to go and soar and create the life that you want. Because after 30 days of reprogramming, checking in on your thoughts and centering yourself, you have no other choice but to be renewed because you didn't renew your mind. So that's available also on my website. Yes, I am ready. Erica says she's ready. I'm ready. That's a coupon code. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm just getting there. Oh my gosh, I'm really behind. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, now that you are enjoyable. Thank you so much. <gasps> Look at Dion came true. Hey, Dion. Uh, Vida. I'm shocked. Yeah, Vida. Vida. I saw somebody on TikTok that did a little experiment with Vida, and they was trying to alkalize it. No matter how much they poured into it to alkalize it, it was still staying, staying acidic. Yeah, and they have them actually at Whole Foods Store. I've been, yeah, at Whole Foods Store and Trader Joe's. I need to order something. I don't know what I want, though. Listen at you, Dion. Yes, you went over your goal. Yeah, I did. I did. Where do you get the chlorophyll from? Oh, the liquid chlorophyll. I'm sorry. Um, Let's see. Ink? Inisi? Maybe it's Inisi. Uh, liquid chlorophyll with mint. I got that from Whole Food Store. That's really, really good. You should try that one out. Yeah. Hey, I'm spiritual. Thank you for being here. Hey, noble and kind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Miss Being Soul answered you. Yeah. See, great. Grateful got hers from Whole Foods Store also. See, y'all helping each other out. We're one big family up in here. That's beautiful. Um, how do they have salt as three ingredients? <laughs> but I'm telling you, Tony Sash, we had it like that. I... I'm telling you, I've been on this journey. I used to consume Tony Sashery because that's what I would put. That was the only thing that I needed to put on my pork chops because I used to love pork chops. That's why I used to have the black dots, acne sores on my face because of all of the pork that I used to consume. Anyway, when I was learning this here information about health and wellness, I was trying to make sure that all of my seasons were like organic and stuff. And I, and I had, that was the first time I had turned the thing around. And it kept saying salt three times as ingredients. I'm like, dang, that was salt up in here? Three times on one bottle of Tony. Look it up. Go online. You, I ain't lying. 
Go online, google.com, pull up Tony Sashery ingredients. They was trying to take people out by Tuesday. I promise you. <laughs> the Alchemist oil helps with pain. Wow, I'm going to live on Saturday to order everything I need. Yes, it helps with pain too. Because you keep in mind the um, clove, they used to use this in, ten, in dentistry. In dentistry for numbing pain in the mouth. Dentists ain't going to tell you about that now. You know? Dentists ain't about to tell you about that now because they're going to lose money. They ain't going to have all them root canals no more. They ain't going to have them cavities no more. They ain't going to have the halitosis and everything else that they're dealing with. Because if you oil pool every day with coconut oil and my amethyst oil right here, you these are, that means you're going to have three things working for you. Coconut oil, clove, and oregano. You got antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antifungal. <laughs> you got everything you need. You got a pain reliever. You got everything you need in there. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yeah, they think we sleeping. <laughs> what do you want me to order? You send me to, oh, some y'all talking to each other on there? Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting closer to the end. Let's see. But what about... When you get cold, it comes with mucus. That's your body detoxing. See, we, we, we've been told backwards, like when our nose is running, for example, it's our body's way of saving your life. It's the body's way of telling you, hey, they got a lot of mucus up in here. Let me get some of it, some of it out of there. And so your nose is going to start running. That's a detox symptom. You're supposed to allow that. But we run to medicine to get rid of symptoms. Instead of running to fruits to detox our body, instead of running to the proper salt and the sodium bicarbonate to alkalize our body and to kill the mucus and expel the mucus, because we were taught wrong though. But we gotta relearn. We in the age of awakening, so everybody should be trying to go down that that narrow road. I mean, road that leads to eternal life. But few will find it because the mindset have to be renewed first. That's where the power within transformation course come in at. Yeah, yeah. Because we be full of mucus. The meat turn into mucus. The pasta turn into mucus. The bread turn into mucus. Let's say you had pork chops with macaroni and cheese and what? Potato salad. That's mucus. Mucus. Where the life at? Got a dead animal. Macaroni and cheese got mold on it. Cheese is mold. They, they, you see cheese with little holes in there. Let's be real and call it things what it is. As far as how it vibrates in the physical reality of the matrix. It's mold. They put little holes in there to get the little fungus out of there. We have fungal infections. We have parasites inside of us at certain points in our lives. If we begin to call it what it is. But we were given food. We were given food that just fall off the tree. When it's ready. They have a high frequency for our light body. We were given fruits and we were given vegetables. But a lot of people don't, don't, don't want to do that. We were given things that will help us even if we did the macaroni and cheese and, 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 and what I said, potato salad and pork chop. We were given things to expel it via the herbs. Right? A lot of people went, no, I don't want that. Give me that. Give, give, give me some of that macaroni and cheese, though, man. Man, I can't be eating all that. And they have no fiber in their diet. Like this, for example. Look at this. Tell me who y'all think. What does this look like to you? And you could be a little, you could be a little nasty when you look at this and you tell me. Because the food is telling you, hey, this is what I'm going to help you with. This is what I'm going to help you do. Tell me what you think this here thing going to help you do just by looking at it. Anybody? <laughs> yeah. Wow, you can put the alchemist all on your knees. I'm so loving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know somebody that had bad knees and they used to use it all the time for that. Even the other day, somebody emailed me and asked me about an ear ache that they had. That they had and they had just started oil pulling. And I was like, that's really just the oil pulling, draining that down. But what you could do is put a little bit of the alchemist oil 
mix it with some coconut oil on a Q-tip and just kind of like rub it again around the opening of the, you know, ear. Make sure it's mixed because, you know, like I said, the alchemist oil needs to be diluted so it won't burn you because that's how powerful it is. And so they they said, oh, man, I had oil pulled again and the oil pulling helped it. I didn't really have to put it on my ear. It helps so many ways and so many things, right? But back to this here. Anybody know what what you think this will help you do? It's a no-brainer. If you don't know what this here, you ain't never been you ain't never been to the bathroom if you don't know what this here will help you do. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And the saline solution in the nose. Yep. Yep. Miss being so, yep. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. You look so healthy and pure. Just beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Does it also does it also iodine? Oh, no, 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 no. But there's a way you could get iodine in your system by incorporating it in your meal. You get an eye dying in um, a lot of your green leafy vegetables and a lot of your seaweed. So you can get some seaweed seasonings too. So if you drink a bottle of water through the day, do this every time. Yeah. Unless you want to drink some alsatic water or hard water every other time. But yeah, every day. Every water bottle. Every day. Unless you're not home with your water bottles that you just manipulated and you out and about. Then maybe that's the time to buy you you know, a regular water. And then even with that in, in mind, I will buy a good one then because you're only buying one. I'll buy maybe an Evian one or I'll buy maybe the Fuji one or, you know. But the other spring ones like this here at the store, it's going to be just a regular if you're out and about and you don't have your own. But yeah, every day, every day, because every day you need minerals. Every day you need electrolytes. Every day you need sodium bicarbonate. Every day your pancreas needs sodium bicarbonate. Your gut needs sodium bicarbonate. Every organ on your body needs magnesium that's up in your salt. Yeah, every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day your water's supposed to have life. Yeah, every day you're supposed to be drinking alive water instead of dead water. Yeah, keep tapping the screen. Oh, I'm at 35,000. Thank you, thank you. Let me get to the bottom of this. Where do I sign up to take the classes on my website? The link is in my bio. Give yourself grace. Yeah. Does a sea salt contain iodine? No. I thought you said no mint. No, I said no peppermint. Peppermint. Peppermint? Don't do that. But regular mint, mint that's the good mint. Peppermint. No peppermint oil. No peppermint. No peppermint. <laughs> yeah, no peppermint. Y'all got me pulling out everything in my cabinet today. No peppermint. But mint, that's good. That's just regular mint. That's just regular mint leaves. But it's a difference. No peppermint. Okay. Yeah. Hello, hello. Thank you. Was driving, but I'm back. Oh, okay. Perfect. Glad you came back. My sister, I'm loving the education you're providing for us. God bless you. Bless you too, Eric. Okay, Jamie. Nut. This here? Nut? That's what you get? Nut? Let me see. Pineal gland. Elimination. Tamarind. Look at, look at her. Look at how she knew. Your beauty is shining from the inside out. And your words are living boy. Yeah, I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, y'all, I'm at the bottom. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the comments. This, this is sweet tamarind. This is an African fruit. It looks like a bowel movement to me. Who do you think? It looks like a bowel movement to me. Don't this, you don't think these look like little turds? Just think about it. I like to think logically so you remember. This is an easy way to remember. This don't look, I ain't trying to be nasty, though. Know? But don't this look like little bitty turds? Like, don't they look like that? Okay, so I'm saying that. Why am I telling you that? Why am I getting you to, to, to see that? I ain't trying to gross you out or nothing. But I'm trying to tell you that this look like this here. And that's what it's good for. This is what it's good for. This is fiber. Fiber. This helps you eliminate when you're full of poop. You need fiber when you're full of poop. So if you have pork chop, macaroni, and potato salad, you got mucus. But you throw something like this here inside of your diet as a snack, guess what? It's going to help you eliminate. And your elimination going to come out of your poop. You see because it's fiber and fiber you know real fiber because it's gonna be tacky 
It's going to be sticky and tacky. So while it is helping you eliminate, while after you digest this, this thing here, you swallow this thing here, it's going to be picking up parasites. It's thick and tacky. It's going to be grabbing stuff on the walls of your intestines. You begin to incorporate these type things in your diet. <laughs> this, is, this is the things the diet, the body be calling out for. But some of, us, some of us don't, in certain points in our life, don't even know that this kind of thing exists. And that is absent from our diet. Had we all kept consuming fruits and, and so-called real fibers, we wouldn't have things like cancer that exist. Because when you eat this here tacky consistency, it's going to go in there and grab some things. Mm -hmm. It's going to grab some things. Just like your dates. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Fiber. So in inside of these, they have little seeds. So all you do is open up the shell. Pull the little vine off. This is real fiber. You can get your fiber from fruits. From all your fruits, this is a powerful source of fiber, though. And fiber is beneficial bacteria. You know, I talk about probiotics and prebiotics. Mm -hmm. This is like the prebiotic. You need both pre and pro, the audit, for the integrity of your gut. Fiber, fiber, tamarind, dates, fiber. Okay? Dates, agave, and tamarind, fiber. I'm going to the store now. Where you get that at? Happy say, where you get that at? I got this here from an international market. Remember I told you earlier? Google international market near me. It's like an Asian store. Asian people. Asian people got them exotic fruits that you need. They got them coconuts that you need. They got the dates over there. They got good prices. You might could find this maybe at a Trader Joe's. I've looked up and seen it once before. But not all of the Trader Joe's have it. It's so delicious. Give this kind of stuff to your children. It's sweet. It's good. It's fiber. Them children need a healthy foundation. Especially if we've been giving the children mucus. Known as Inflamil. That's why they have a snotty nose. Because they get mucus too. Mm -hmm. That's why their nose is running. And because of them other children that they... Was touching at the nursery. All children in the nursery on Infamil. This helps. You go to the bathroom. Okay. You need fiber in your diet. Fiber. The best sources. You want to get it from fruit. Not from the little pumpkin husk. That they sell in Whole Foods. So no husk. And no, no powder. Go to the source. The source. The fruit. So that's agave. Sweet tamarind. And dates, best fiber, best prebiotic, beneficial, gut health, anti-parasitic, because it's grabbing hold to the parasite. Remember how I was talking about that larva, the, the worm, and the eggs, and all the things when you're detoxing with the uh, quick bug in it and with the uh, alchemist oil? You detoxing with that? Okay, you detoxing. You're drinking your, your water that you just manipulated with your sodium milk carbonates and your, your gray or your uh, pink salt. You got all your minerals in there. And then you take a little snack through that day. This is a whole little fast right here. This That'll be a good fast. Then you pop you some, some sweet tamarinds in your mouth. Baby, you're going to be squeaky clean. You're going to be glowing. Your aura going gonna, to gonna change. Your pineal gland going to be open, wide open. You're going to be... You could be like you could be like that comment a couple of comments ago, staying up all night, getting to know yourself. How did she was asking, how do, how do I keep still? Because I'm just yearning for more information. You could be like the lucid. Remember the movie The Lucid, Lady Lucy? When she was tapping into 100 percent of brain capacity? Yeah, you could be able to feel and experience, you could be able to hear and see. I'm telling you. Okay, so we're at the end. Try your local international market or natural stores. Yeah, Asian or Caribbean, Hispanic stores have them too. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you got that happy? So we good? Everybody good? Everything good? Because everything is good. Everything is perfect. I've enjoyed my time here. I didn't come here to be on here for two, four hours like I was. Yeah, I really didn't. I was really just, what was my subject? 
I was just really come. I remember now. I really just came here to celebrate you all and to make sure that you all was in a, a proper mindset. And we just went down a whole rabbit hole of health and wellness. But needless to say, check out the transformation course. The Power Within Transformation course. Use the uh, code I am ready. I promise you, it is my promise to you, Reflection, that it will change your life forever. I wish I had at my moment in life of me that left videos behind. Because I'll tell you one thing, this conscious journey, I have you looking at yourself like, dang, am I going crazy? Like to the person that was up all night just researching and stuff. At, at points in my life, I, I laugh at myself now. But I wondered, you know, was I going crazy? I remember asking my mom, like, what is happening to me? I'm hearing things. And I was whispering when I said it, looking a little crazy, saying, people are talking to me. People are talking to me. I was bowed down at the front door telling my mom, because I had told her to come over, but leave your cell phone in the car. And when she came in the door, I was on my knees by the front door. I said, look, don't judge me, but people are talking to me. <laughs> so this conscious journey will get you now. I'm telling you. <laughs> like that, okay? Yep, yep. <laughs> How do you eat it? Oh yeah, like that. You just you just pull the little vine, you crack it, you pull the little vein off of there and you eat it. There's a seed inside of it, but you just eat it in the little tacky part. They were asking, how do you eat the sweet tamarind? It's delicious too. It's really, really good. I, that's like a snack for me. Like dates are a snack to me. It's just like your healthy sugar and you need sugar because sugar is, you need real sugar from fruit because sugar becomes your energy. They call me crazy, all my family. Yeah, yeah, you see that sassy? Okay, it's been great in the tub, the old law. <laughs> Y'all all up in the tub. When you go and you take your good bath. Soon, later on tonight, check back on my website. I got a new product called Be Calm. It's going to be a bath soak, and it's going to rock your world. Your tub life's going to be on a whole nother level. I created it myself, and it really, really feels good. Anyway, this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Bye. Mm-hmm.